counts um, as well as that. Uh, you've got great players in Jayled and Fangta. I mean, it's going to be a battle of the DPS, I think, here. But as well as that, you've got some great tanks and great supports. I mean, Ali G and, um, and Rosen doing very well on their support lineup. Uh, I think, I mean, I mean it's going to be close between these teams here. I think it's all going to be on how uh, how warm it performs into Fangta. I think that really is going to be a decider here. But right now, the map is a Blizz world. Um, and... Uh, I mean, looking at the comps, it's a defensive pharmacy dive. Uh, d not really surprising from Oshtek here. That's pretty much what they've been running most of the time. Um, and uh, a kind of an interesting comp coming out uh, from uh, from uh, the team on the offense here. I'm really interested to see what they'll do here with the ASF on the, on the Sombra and have some Tracer. They did very well earlier. Again, I'm going to see if can pull off some nice shots from the Widow again, of course. That has to take down Fanked up pretty much all on his own. There's no... Oh. I mean, A's up going to hack him, but... Doesn't seem like it's enough as the rest of the team pushes into the poor Widow on her own. Managing to clean up the rest of the fight. Willie does get picked off late, though. And that's exactly what you want as the offensive team. It does seem like Hacksaw is going to get spotted out. It does run back to his team, though. A good start from Oshtek Warriors. They are able to find uh, pretty much everyone on uh, on uh, Carter the Tuffle is there. Uh, Asaf going down early once again uh, for the first time, actually, in the same But Hacksaw able to find the opener onto him. A good start from Cartel to Tuffle is there. Power of Hero, though, making things even. even. Asaf unable to find the Hacksaw. He's close to the MP. The Hacksaw finds Power of Hero. Nice guy, Rosen now going down. It makes it even. But Fanta now going to be falling to the focus of Cartel to Tuffle. Asaf able to find Blackbeard. Fanta's going to be res right up, back, back up, but nobody's going to be touching the point. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, they are. Immediately. That's hey. huge. Control the Tough Boys do not want Fake to in the air. They want to hack him as much as they can. And it does end up just him dying, but is it enough? I don't think so. Inside of Oshkosh. Oh, that's Warriors. a big kill. That oh, is a massive fine. kill onto. Uh, Ooh. That's a big kill onto Willie. The power here with the one man bomb to take that hack. So, but Asaph just find him onto this fight looking very close between these teams right now. They're going to be initiating that. I mean, the, 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 the choice to use the ultimate is decided out there. Um, Jayla doing well to stall the car and still point size when he's probably being a bit small. Just get the headshot off onto Jayla. The MP is going to be used just as uh, the beat is used from. Um, oh my gosh, Frank to though with a double of the barrage. Right now, again, this fight looking very disorganized. If you don't win, if the offense doesn't win this fight, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna hurt them. As they've been committing a lot of ultimates to this. Um, but right now, it looks like they might just win it. Uh, but ha yeah, Hacksaw is going to be able to take down Banksa of the Tracer, as well as that he takes down J-Led, so just a matter of time before uh, for the team in the uh, on the offense to take this first map of the series. Now, th what am I saying? Like, do take the first point of the series. <laughs> well, power here, only first left on the point. Devo, though, a lot of health to burn through. He saw it out. He saw it too much longer, though, as Zuma on the fair does finally manage to take him out of mech. And coming into this I mean, next fight, not too many ults up on either side, really. Both Swarm and Primal Rage are the only ones that are up right now. I mean, that was definitely a very long first fight. I'm not really sure what was going on. Uh, my brain was left a bit frazzled, as you could probably tell by the casting. But, I mean, nonetheless, uh, Carter, the top boys, have taken this, uh, this first point. And they're going to continue using this car. Um, Power Piro, though, with a good start and kill onto Nice Guy Rosen. And they're going to be just diving quite aggressively here. They found one kill, though. But, I mean, her more attack very well. Base are going to be using the EMP. Jayled able to take him out, though. The pulse bomb from Hacksaw onto Fanta, though. Um, but now Warp on the front of his own, which we all know he can play quite well. Uh, just take down Power of Hero. Willie also going to be falling. Nice guy Rosen does go. Just take down Blackbeard as well as that. Jayla going to go down. His payload is going to carry on moving. In this next fight, we do see Nice guy Rosen popping the, the rally very early. Going to give his team 100 shields each. Assuming they don't take any damage. Looks like Algy doesn't actually get that many. Oh, big hat. <laughs> So just gets hacked there, so. I mean, they're not able to kill up. That is extremely unfortunate. You do want to take out the fairs once you've hacked them, because they are a pretty free kill for the most part. Unfortunately, though, it looks like both farms are going to be dueling oh, in the air. Oh, oh. It does go down to the end, though. He finds two of the farms. Sumo is playing extremely well in this fair. I'm, he's been impressed me for sure. 
Yeah, you see he really has popped off so far, finds the double direct onto Fangs, he uses the barrage, finds two, this payload has not stopped uh, since it started rolling. Uh, it's going to stop for some time there though, but Jayled again going to be going down, Goldie will oh, find the front there, and now to some more return to get double directed, Ali G not going to be able to hit anything with the res, however it finds him, will he able to res uh, Jayled as well, this might be, a, might be a fight one, yeah, definitely a fight one for the side of Watch Tech Warriors. And in this next fight, we see the EMP is up for Azef. This is the... We've seen plenty of fights be won solely off the EMP. Gonna have to hope that it's a big enough EMP to, to win in the fight, because winning a fight with a single ult will, of course, grant you the ult advantage in the next couple of fights. Yeah, I mean... They're going to start off by using the EMP though, ASAP able to find Jayled. I mean obviously if Jayled does, is unable to blink, he's an easy target on 150 health. But a good bomb from Power Pyramid makes sure that Ali G goes down, but Banks are going to be using the 1v1 regardless to Samori though, going to be falling as well. And with 50 seconds to go, this fight really probably might decide the first map to be fair. They they do win the point and carry on pushing, they have a better chance of winning the map. Whilst if it's held by Oshtek, they, I mean, it's not a long distance at all to hold. Parfum manages to get the kill onto Goldie by mecking, uh, and that pilot is going to be stopped for the time being. And, I mean, you've only got, I mean, you've got the options to use in this final fight, but, I mean, you're definitely on the down, on the, on the back foot of your CDTV right now. And here, oh, there isn't a lot of time left. There's 20 seconds. They don't have too many ults on the, on the attacking side on the defense tower. They will probably build up the sound barrier this fight. That's what they have to be playing for if a Blackbeard going down first. That's not what you can have. That's a massive though. Oh, the big kill from Jaylid on to Nice Garrison. Punk to able to take down um, Smory as well. Her mod able to take down Ali G. Jaylid though does go down. This fight looks close right now. They've got to end it before Nice Garrison gets back and is able to use the Brigitte roll. Are they able to do so? I don't think they are. Oh no, is the Kano's going to... Are they going to be able to... Actually, it does manage to touch. And, and yeah, Azef will be able to add once he gets off, but... Man, this fight is just dominantly in the, in the favor of Oshtek Warriors. Yeah, Oshtek finding the fights they need. But Ken, um, CBTV is getting back in here. I mean, the, the, uh, nobody from the defense are going to die in time soon as the beat is used from Blackbeard to ensure that they get the sustainability to convincingly win this fight. But yeah, right now it's just, just uh, CBTB picking at straws right now. Um, they're going to... Uh, Goldie's going to fall, Hapsu's going to go down, the EMP is going to be used from Azef, but to no avail. And that's going to be a good hold coming in from Ostic Warriors as they, as they, I mean, kind of show a very confident display in taking, uh, in, in taking two points from them. Um, from, uh, from the from cards to the top boys is there and you can see the one themselves they can uh they can they can they, it's, it's a very realistic uh position um to hit like where the car is uh where it went to um and i mean i definitely think this could be a first map for them and the car tell the tough boys just couldn't find a way to work around the the pharmacy there in my opinion Fangta, although not getting every kill, was enough of a distraction that um, Suma wasn't having as much impact as he needed to. Azef was focusing on him as well. Just didn't really know whether to ignore or deal with the pharmacy, and being caught between both of those, or sorry, being indecisive about, about both of those is what led to them not even getting the second point here. Yeah, I think... <sighs> You either, you've got to really be like synergizing if you run the Sombra. You've got to you've got to be isolating the, the, the hack target um, as a team very well. And we saw mid phase when Asef did hack Factor, he wouldn't die. It was only when um, Warm was hitting those, I mean, very good directs um, that uh, that Factor would die. They need to they need to really follow up on Asef's hacks uh, a lot more. I mean, they're not playing badly as individuals. They're all making decent plays. Like Hacks was finding good one clips. Goldie's doing good dives. ASF good hacks, uh, warm heat and some nice direct Rosen with some good stuff, I, I, all of them, but the synergy isn't there and they're not doing it at the same time to, to, to convincingly win fights. They need to be working as a team if they're going to be grabbing uh, maps in this series, but right now, Oshtek War is now on the attack and really it's, 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 not, it's not a long way um, to, uh, for, them, for them to win this first map. And... <laughs> okay, I was about to say, Fangdon, Doofus, I was, I was excited. 
<laughs> but we will see. Excuse me. But we will see Jaylet on the um, on the Reaper instead. Reaper, a difficult pick in all honesty. It, it can have extremely good impact, but against a fair, it can be completely nullified. And that's soft as well. Jayled and Fanta uh, would find the frags you need on the offense here as they grab the first tick of the point. One though, winning the battle 1v1. They've got to stop the res. Uh, if that, I mean, well, that's, yeah, they've got to stop the res uh, from, um, from happening on the offense here. Uh, they have managed to do so successfully, but the contest isn't there, and they lose the second tick, and they almost lose the whole point uh, together. But, I mean, Warm is going to be able to take down Blackbeard. Jayled also going to be going down. The barrage is going to be from Warm to find Hamad. Willy also going down. Fanta does find Warm, but he's not going to be able to get back on the point as Warm is raised right back up. Uh, and um, the is going to is going to reset by killing himself on the Diva. It looks like <clears throat> for this next fight, Aza will have the EMP. As I said before, EMP is an extremely impactful ultimate, completely nullifies every ability in the game. This is this is how they win the fight. Off, the, off that pick and the EMP. Nice boop that denies the rise on the... Whoever it is at that, I'm sorry, I can't remember who died. That EMP was... Uh, I don't know if that EMP was needed. It was... Questionable. I mean, right now, um... I mean, oh, that's big! Is it big? No, oh, it looked like a 3k for a second, but it was unable to find anything. I said, I will take down Fanta, that's a good pick to get. If you're on, uh... There's no inside of cards to stop with right now, but her modern power pair are both popping off tanks of um of Ostek and they are able to grab this point and they have four and a half minutes to get through 106 meters. Hello. Um I mean really it's it's not a hard thing. It's not a uh, it's not an unreasonable task. No, especially on Rialto. Rialto's street space is very difficult to be held up on. I you, you, you just don't see it often. Generally, teams either get held on first or on third. This is gonna be this is gonna be difficult for the side of Ostek Warriors to lose. And right now, uh, the Ultimates are in for the defense, but the thing is, you can't. Like, it's it's still so much doing. Goldie, this goes down. Hamid winning the tank. Uh, the tank battle there, I mean, it's not really a 1v1 battle, but it's really just a survival battle to be honest. But her mid, I would find the frag into Nice Guy Rosen as well to Samori. Just go down to Fank to Haxor, able to find the mecha power, but again, nothing, uh, nothing else. Um, Blackbeard going to be taken down. Um, Ali G. And again, they're on the verge here. Goldie, though, with a good kill onto Jayled, they're not going to be able to erase that as it right, was right in the back line. A Fank to Hacked, and he's going to go down as well. Some good follow up there from Warm. To take down the hacked, uh, the hacked hero of the uh, of the bar on the offense on, on the offense there. And Warm able to find power here as well. Blackbeard gonna go down, and uh, and a good fight one for um, the CDCB. But still, three minutes to push the payload like, just a little bit further. It's, I mean, you want you want them to push it, but or you want them to hold it rather. But like, it's not gonna happen really. Nice shot from Fanta, almost like out of the air. On the other hand, Jaylen does go down instead. And right now, they find the kill on for Jaylen with the help of Asaph's hat. And um, I mean, they have five ultimates online. They used to find also, they, I mean, now they only have five, but um, I'm not really sure why that was necessary. But the, but the, uh, the EMP is going to be used from Asaph there. Uh, Warm is able to track down um, Willy as well as Fanta going down. Haxel able to take down the mech of Power Hero, followed up by Warm uh, taking him out. Blackbeard and Hamid also going to be falling. They only use, they use kind of one ultimate to win that fight really. They use Primal, but that wasn't really to win the fight. That was kind of before the fight kind of really started. But um, the, the EMP and the combo and the combo of, uh, of the fire damage uh, onto, uh, onto Fanta and the rest of their team and um, really did work nicely together. And they've still got ultimates to hold. They're gonna need him with uh, with one minute and fifty seconds to go. Five ults are up for the attacking side. Nearly six. Once they get all six, they're just gonna throw them all into one fight and hope to win this. Most likely, they do commit the Valkyrie very early. Will he again? Even them to use this Valkyrie at strange times. Think it does look like it's a bit of an ace, but that's exactly what you need. Jayla takes down that guy Rosen, and this fight doesn't seem like it's winnable anymore for this side of the CDTV. 
That's not a good use of power as well. Only gets the neg power of hero. Frank Dutt and Hamoud able to find the kills onto Warm and ASAP. I'm not sure if anyone's going to even be touching here. Haxor maybe. Yeah, Haxor able to get on the point. Now the Wrecking Ball coming out from Goldie. I mean, it's a good kill from Haxor onto power of hero, but he's going to get res right back up by the mercy of Boschtek Warriors. Haxor though also able to get Blackbeard. So now only one support in the fight for Oshtek. But again, the kills come in for the team in the blue. The Spankta, Hamud, and Power Peel all find one. And Hamud finds the second just before the game ends there. And that is going to be the first map picked up for Oshtek Boys. It's Blizz World with a score of 2 to 1. Let's see who gets to play of the game. Play of the game. It's going to be warm. Justice from above. It there. All of Dome is all really, but. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough for them. And 80% of the match. Oh right. my gosh. Look at his uh, poor him, dude. <laughs> King of Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Asif, of course, putting in the work. Right, the first... Um... The first move being made by Oshtek, picking up the 1 0 win in the series. I mean, it's going to be a good one. Best of seven. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of Overwatch for you to see yet. But uh, we are going to be going to a Starfighter commercial. Uh, we'll see you in just a jiffy. When we left Earth, we entered a cold, vast territory. Beautiful and dangerous. But we didn't come for the view. We came for what we could take. And we made it even more deadly. Space is unforgiving, but so are your enemies. He's gonna pick him up. He's level three into that, and that is over. Broly Destroy will take the first match. Oh my gosh! stuff clean while snacking. We've tried everything. That's why we invented the wipe. A grease cutting, crumb catching snack rag that'll keep you and your devices clean. We've been featured on Mashable, The Verge, CNET, Digital Trends, High Snobiety, Saw It's Back. Well, you get the picture. And now we are live on Amazon. So quit putting your life on pause and get yours today.
all you gamers out there want the latest updates, news, and reviews? At Gaming Cipher, we write articles about all the hottest games, share stories from the biggest events of the year, work with an amazing staff, yeah, and even create our own content. Bam! Okay, wow. We know how big the gaming world is out there, so when it comes to staying informed, we've got your back. Gaming Cipher, the leading independent video game news source. Follow us today. When it comes to keeping our stuff clean while snacking, we've tried everything. That's why we invented the wipe. A grease-cutting, crumb-catching snack rag that'll keep you and your devices clean. We've been featured on Mashable, The Verge, CNET, Digital Trends, High Snobiety, Solid Smack. Well, you get the picture. And now, we are live on Amazon. So quit putting your life on pause and get yours today. Hello everybody once again, I'm Zigzag, I have a very special gift with, guest with me, his name is Fanta, why don't you take it away? Uh, hello everyone, I'm uh, Fang, I'm Oshtik Warriors player, uh, and I'm DBS main, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I also have uh, 7MD with me, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hey guys, it's, uh, I'm 7MD and I play support for Oshtik Warriors. And I'm a Mercy main, and I can play most of the support. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so why don't you uh, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about your team? So obviously where you're from, uh, and like your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, first thing, like uh, we are very very strong on uh, line area meta, and also we can play dive camp. Um, and yeah, I think that's uh, the strongest like. The strong thing in Ashtar Korea, but I don't think we have weakness. Okay, it's been, you're feeling very confident going into the season. Yep, of course. All right, so uh, seven, uh, seven MD. Uh, I mean, obviously, Fanta seems very confident. You guys seem very, very, uh, very, very confident going into the season. Are there any teams particularly you think could be a challenge to you? Any teams that you have an eye on going into the league? I don't really know all the teams in the competition, but for, for us, I think it's power, I think. Like the strongest competition, yeah. Okay. Um, Factor, what about you? Are there any, are there any other teams that, that you feel will be, will be a trouble to you or no? I think the, like, uh, the same power, maybe. Power, okay. So obviously got to keep an arm power. Um, so uh, the final mention I'm going to ask you guys is obviously uh, at the time of recording this interview, we've just come off the back of a character being announced into the game. We know him as Wrecking Ball. Um, also the changes to some metro in the game. Uh, do you feel that will change the meta? How do you think that, that the game will shape around those changes? Mm, it's, I don't it's think so. Really uh, yeah. You can go. You can go. You can go. <laughs> Uh, it's really early to like judge of the meta before the hero drops, but like, as 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 I've, I've seen from the videos, like he's a really strong hero. I think he can counter Bridget. And as for Symmetra, I'm a Symmetra main, so I can like I can talk about her. Uh, she's a really strong hero after the after the change. And yeah, she's 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 a little bit like different from she when she used to be. And I think like people might not like. She might not like go straight to the meta, but like uh, mid season maybe she'll go meta or something. Okay. So 
it's nice to nice to nice to see your input into that actually. That's very interesting. Um, I mean, I feel yeah, absolutely, definitely countering Biggie. Yeah. Again, I don't think she'll be OP. Uh, I think she'll be decent though. Uh, the he'll be decent, sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. concludes this uh, this interview. Um, I mean, you thank you very much uh, for um, for coming and being a part of this uh, this interview, and I wish you the best of luck in the league. Who's gonna win it? Who's gonna win it? Us, of course. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm Music Thank Legacy. You. Here is Bankta and MDMD, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for having us.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We have our second map of this final between Cartel de Tough Boys and uh, and Ostic Warriors. I mean, it's a familiar sight. Last time we were here, Ostic Warriors quite convincingly started their uh, sweep campaign against Squall Clan. Who do you think is winning this one? I think Ostic Warriors are going to take it again. They played extremely well last one they were on this map. Does it always rain on this map? I've never noticed that. Does it? I've never uh, noticed that. Neither have I. Whoa, what the? No. Has it? No, it hasn't. Surely not. Yo, help us out in the stream there. Has it always yeah, rained? This is, has it always this, rained? Like, this what? has got to be new. What? It's has, <laughs> surely. What the? Like, was, it, was it here on the last time we were on this map? I'm so confused. I don't know. Uh, anyway, like, forget about the weather. We're going to be worrying <laughs> about the game. We have Arctic Warriors in the blue going up against Carter to Toys in the red. Uh, right now, Arctic 1 and up in the series. Um, right now, in terms of, in terms of strategies, uh, I mean, pretty much mirrored. It's, oh, wait, is there a Wrecker Ball from Power of Hero? No, surely. Yeah, he's going to be on the deal. Um, I mean, they're going to be going with pretty similar things last time. Uh, yeah, pretty much the exact same um, lineup both teams ran last time on um, on Blizzworld. Uh, ASF is going to be on that Sombra uh, yet again, um, but right now we're going to have to be waiting to see, to see which team takes this point first. Um, I think Sombra could be a lot better here because obviously as they've got to come to the point there, they, they, they've got to look around a lot more for Sombra. You can, like, you can come from any direction pretty much. And Sombra does also have the ability to hack the health pack that's right behind the point, but yeah, so not when Azef goes down by J led really quickly. It's two of seven health. That's a, yeah. That's a, I was gonna that's say, I should watch out for ball. flash damage. Uh, but yeah, with him going down, the fight just immediately gets completely just hurt. J led absolutely that's what I'm to say. J -Led absolutely popping off, finding quite a few people. Um, a good start from Oshtake Warriors. Taking the um, <laughs> taking the first section, uh, th taking the first the first point the first possession of the point, um, shall we say? <laughs> but, right, yeah, I've got to got it right eventually. Um, but right now, Haxor is going to get low. He's going to have to recall. Uh, but Jaylet is going to be the first taken down. He, I mean, not the trace I thought would go down first, but uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Nice guy rolls a good start power here. It was going to be falling, but Jaylet is going to be rid right back up. This fight looks like a long one, to be fair. The next kill is so important, and Blackbeard is the one who gets it onto Goldie, who must go going down as well. Fanta going to be using the Barrister though, finding two, and that surely will be the first fight uh, going to... Um, no, it's, I'm saying, it'll be the first fight, it'll be the second fight. I mean, I, I mean, as I say, it's going to go in the favour of Rochelle, it's probably not as warm, does find j -Led, but Fanta and Power Piero do find... Yeah, that is... Yeah, so the point is going to be one time. And I do like the swap that Azef made for his last fight going over to Vegeta and I think his Sombra, while it did, he did play very well in the Sombra, it just isn't enough. For They need the protection from the Slash damage from the Rockets, they need the protection from the Pulse Spawns. All the damage they can put in from Masha Warriors. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks to those! The first going down, uh, that's exactly what you need. But a good beat from Blackbeard does mean that Willy can be spanked up. Now, Willy is the one that is low. Now we go down. Um, I don't think so. He's still alive. But the but the, uh, but the deep bomb is going to be used from A7. He's going to not be able to get back in there. Now the deep bomb coming in from power. And he almost finds uh, AEG, but he's going to be able to stay alive. Hacksaw able to find the kill. It's right here, but Rosen also going down. Samori is going to be shut down completely there by the Matrix of Power Fair as well as JLED's Tracer. But JLED is going to fall. Hamod though, taking down AEG. So this fight looking close between these two teams right now. But Oshtek look to be uh, holding on. The power use from Factor. Just make sure ASAP goes down. Now just Hacksaw on the point. The race is going to be used from Willy. Hamud back alive. The pod bomb is going to be used. It's going to be fluffed. I mean, they've got to get the facts though. No, they're not going to be able to touch the point. Um, and uh, and that's going to be the first section going in the favour of Oshtik Warriors. As you said, Oshtik Warriors up 1-0 in this series, er, on this map so far. In the series as well, but <laughs> we have to see what they do here on Control Center. These are the same two maps that Oshak Warriors got in their last match. They played extremely well on both these maps. We're gonna have to see if the side of 
of CDTV can do better. Can, if they can outplay the pharmacy that's coming out from fake deaths, just going absolutely in. J Led, of course, in the back line, creating so much space for his team to push in with. I think what might work, uh, if, if if you're on the side of CDTV, nothing seems to be working right. Well, I think it could work is running more of a goat's cult, but running a somber instead of a brew, in somber instead of something. Like, because a somber's, what, somber's getting a lot of value, like, not as much as like she can, but she's doing her job. But I think, like, if you were to land, like, triple tank, uh, somber and goat, and somber and Lucio and Moria, that, that could work really well. You have the support to maintain your tanks as well as the somber to kind of destroy the uh, bank uh, uh, on the fire and the only thing really dealing with goats in the first place. But um, they're not going to be opting to go for that strategy right now. And we are able to set that Haxel. Haxel now on the Lucio. Um, but no, the point is going to be going in the favor of Rostec Warriors. <laughs> the emo coming in from her. Rosen, what Rosen has been on Brigitte and LAV has been on the Mercy these past few rounds, and I guess they decided it just wasn't enough heals. Hacks around a Lucio will provide a lot more AOE healing than than either of them. At this point, personally, I don't really get running the brew, and I mean, like just like there, J led winning uh, the one v one there. Um, I mean, a lot of the time that's been the case. I think sometimes where Rosen hit the nice combo, but I honestly don't think the brew is valuable. I think. I mean, Fanta, uh, as well as the rest of the team, kind of countering them up really nicely. I don't really get the triple support in general. But again, he's basically begging, especially here. I think Goat to the Sombra could really work, but like, they're not doing it. They, they're, uh, uh, they're basically the same on the three, and the breeze going down. I mean, still not even 80% on that on that ultimate. Um, just goes to show how little value they're getting on the breeze. Um, but uh, right now it's a new fight, 50% on the point for Oshek, 50% uh, away from grabbing the second map of the series. The beat is going to be from, um, from Cartel to some point, but again, nothing! Uh, he's still going to matter. Back to find two, uh, and he's able to find uh, no one with the barrage, but still with the, uh, the point going. Um, I mean, maintaining in the favour of Oshek, 70% really now, and they have the ultimates to hold to the end. As you said, they do have plenty of ults to hold on to. Blackbeard has to make sure he doesn't get down here. He has gone down several times in the past with his sound barrier up, and he has to be said that that happened. I mean, Ali G going down first, that's a great way to start it off. This is the last fight, too. They have to be aggressive. They have to be aggressive with these ults. I mean, Fanta able to find Tissamori as he uses the barrage, not even able to get a single rocket out. And they, I, I mean, right now this is all Osh Tech. They've got to find something here. Ali G getting very low. Might be going down here. Banksta able to find Nice Rosen. Nice going, going down once again. J Led is going to be taking down Hacksaw as well. Banksta using the barrage. Is anyone going to be able to touch? Only for the time being. As Warm finds Banksta, the deep bomb is going to be used from, um, from Asaf. Uh, and right now, it's just trades for both teams right now, but I mean, looking at how many people are left on the point, it's definitely a positive for, um, for, uh, oh, what a stick from Jayla. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, just blinks in, sticks Rosen as he rallies. Um, right now, they just need to get LG, and I mean, it's pretty much one fight, yeah, like, they've just, they just got to clean that now. But no, the beat comes in from Hacksaw. I mean, they're, st they're still grappling with the straws right now. But Blackberry comes in with his second beat in the fight, and they're doing a good job of stalling on the side of CDTV, but it's just not enough. The amount of damage and focus that's coming in front of side of Rashad Warriors completely overpowers it. And as you said, the Brigitte on the side of CDTV seems really forced. I'm not really sure why they insist on using it over and over again when, when uh, j -Led isn't even paying it attention, really. <laughs> nice shot from Blackbeard here in play of the game. Great, I can see on that Lucio. And again, a, a very one-sided map, Justin. Yeah, I think we are going to be going to a commercial. I mean, this is a this is some time for uh, for CDTB to try and get this back. Uh, they've got to think of what they're going to run, um, but uh, but yeah, we are going to be going to a commercial, and we'll see with our third map in just a second.
When we left Earth, we entered a cold, vast territory. Beautiful and dangerous. But we didn't come for the view. We came for what we could take. And we made it even more deadly. Space is unforgiving, but so are your enemies. He has that Graviton, there it is. Is the Pulse Bomb gonna be there? It is gonna be there. Oh the Pulse Bomb my lord. takes it down for death. Oh, he might have this. He's got the, he's got the combo starting. He might go, he might go all the way. He's got the level three. He's gonna pick him up. He's level three into that! And that is over! Broly Destroy will take the first match. Oh my gosh! Hello guys, welcome back. We have our third map of this best of seven series. It is going to be Junkertown. Junkertown. I mean, right now, Oshik War is in a very commanding position. I mean, that Angels, do you, do you see it coming back for CD to be here? Hmm. I don't. I don't really. It's they're playing very disorganized in comparison to Oshik Warriors. I think they're doing a great job of providing a distraction for j -Led on the Farah and, and Tracer respectively. We do see that Tarnus has been subbed in here. I'm curious to see what he's going to be playing as he, ten as he typically does play DPS, but you have three other DPS players in the roster at the same time. I mean, they're going to be going for solo support. That's that's probably the... But by the look of this roster, that's exactly where they're going to be running. Um, Love A7 Goldie on the tank, Haxel, uh, Warm, and Tiny's on the DPS, and Ali G on the, uh, on the main support. That's probably what will be coming out here, especially with Solid Sport being so popular on Jungle Town. I like, could see that happening. So right now, uh, in terms of the defense, obviously we know what comp they're going to run straight away. They are going to be running the Solid Support. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be going for, um, they're going to be going for Solid Support, Pharmacy, Tracer, Triple Tank. And it's interesting that now Blackbeard is on the road, and Hamoud is on the Arisa, whereas earlier on Rialto we saw Blackbeard on the Arisa and Hamoud on the Diva. Yeah, very, I'm not really sure how they determine who's playing what, but it is definitely interesting to watch. Charney's actually on the Bastion now. Barney's on the last one. They're going to be running the Soda Supplies, I was saying. Warm already getting to one and he's going to go down. See, that's what I meant by when I said earlier about direct hits from uh, from Frank to being followed up by Jaylen. That's exactly what I mean. But Jaylen and Frank, the both of them are going to be falling to Haxor with the help of the damage boost of Ali Ali G also resin up uh, Warm. And uh, he's going to be able to find her move. And this pedal is going to carry on moving a good start coming in from CDTV. The dragon awakens. They're probably gonna get this payload just about to that last little outhouse. That's a good as well. At this point, you have to hope that Blackbeard is just gonna swap off Roadhog, uh, go maybe a Lucio and try and help his team out. But no, he's sticking with Roadhog for now. No, they're gonna be on the Lucio. He switches over to Lucio, but Haxel finds two. Make that three. He's popping off already this map. He has the Dragon Strike. Uh, he's probably gonna save it, obviously, but um. Yeah, the rest, they're coming from where he, he goes down. Um, and, uh, I mean, Hamod literally just staggering. 
That's, uh, that's, that's what he has to do yesterday. He can't get out, and we might as well just go to the camera trying to contest the cart, and that's what he did now. Um, now Watch Tech really needs to try and back up and wait for their team to be there. The site is in for Worms, so they, they might as well just hide behind uh, the wall uh, and wait. Um, oh, on the side of Oshik, seriously, don't have a big hook as well. Much. As you said, great hook on the main tank. Mood goes down early. Two other kills do come out in the middle of the fight, and that post bomb will seal the deal. Jay led winning that fight for the team with the pulse. Half hero is worth finding too. Thanks with the team up on Saturday G. Yeah, good possible from Jay led as you would say. But, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I think Haxor is doing a great job so far, but he, he just needs to keep that up. He will need to start hitting headshots. I mean, Banks has got to be taken out here. Uh, he has the barrage to this fight. Um, the bomb also in for uh, for power film. We all know how good uh, Team Bomb is on Junker Town. Especially for the second second point. And Fanta just coming in with the oh. direct hits mid-air. And another direct on Titani. Uses the barrage. Good. Nah, that was questionable there. But nonetheless, the fight is going to be won for the defense. Going for the highlight reel, it seems. It's <laughs> like... It was a bit of a waste, especially on this point of this map where people have to walk through tiny corridors to get into any, to get into the towards the point. It's a great place to be. It's a great place of barrage, but you're gonna have to deal with it now because Tarnies is going extremely deep right now. Looking for a the dive is gonna be uh, initiated onto the Widowmaker of the offense, but unable to find the kill there. But how Power Fury is going to get ulted by SF, he's going to go down. When Mothra is finding the kill onto Warm, he's going to be diving back into the main of the fight. Him able to get the drum of Goldie. Goldie getting low. Is he going to die? Is he not? He is. Jay Lede will find the kill there. Willie also able to res his off tank. Bank to find Zaddy G. Haxel goes down as well. And another confident fight uh, for um, Oshik Warriors. And a little bit of BM there from Power of Hero once he kills Tarnies. Aza finally going over to the Diva. I'm not sure why he didn't why they didn't talk to the dive faster, honestly. The, the tinkles on the tinkles with the Rissa Roadhog aren't really that good in lesser combos. But coming into it, it we do see the problem range coming out very from the mood, and that's a great hit with the pulse bomb. Yeah, I think um yeah, good good start from Tony's now in his main. Uh, able to get the possible buff onto Fanta. It's not often you see a Tracer stick afar in the middle of the air, but I mean, it happened nonetheless. The uh, Dragon Strike is going to be from Hacksaw. I'm able to find anything. Hamud takes down ASF, but the kill's coming for the offense all of a sudden. Hamud and Power Hero are both going to be falling. I mean, I don't know why they're in so deep now. They need to back up and wait um, after they get the kill on Warm. And that's exactly what they've done. They've taken Warm down, but Fanta, they're going to stay in nonetheless. And they do find the kills they need to. They're doing well all to stay alive in the region of the Right. What is good about this comp is that if you lose both tanks, it's not a big issue because, I mean, Lucio can self-sustain, and Mercy can self-sustain in the air with a fire, and Tracer, Tracer can self-sustain on their own, so you can go in like that when it's just you four. Um, and, uh, and, I mean, that's exactly what they did, and um, and they've won this fight again now. One minute and 45 seconds left to contest uh, until they, until they, I mean, they can they can wrap up shop. So was on the fair of his own now. Trying to contest the bank that here in the air. Will he get sniped out of the air? No. Not really sure how you get sniped by a rocket, but you know, just thinking oh, like that. Oh, double direct, does, just like uh, that. Oh my. Double direct from Plankta taking down Warm again. Plankta does go down, but Jayla does find the kill on tax, so they've got to stop if, um, if Ali, Ali G hits a res here. Oh no, he doesn't raise uh, room. Just pick up Hacksaw, he has a dragon, so that might be the better rest. Anyway, and a good headshot that he makes onto... He got eight again! They've got eight power of, of hero. I mean, they're still going to win the fight, but power of hero, I mean, he's going to get out, maybe. Blackbeard Her is still alive, you know, he does. Power has eaten two different dragon strikes at this point. You've got to re... Hey, Hacksaw's got to be totally at this point. Can they reach this? No, they can't. Oh, maybe Power Hero has the bomb here, wants to stall it out for as long as he can. I'm not really sure about this. Low. I don't like this. Oh, they are able to touch, and that's a big kill though, oh. they found two! Now they've got to stay alive, Blackbeard has got to get back in. And he's able to touch, he's raised that primal rage of uh, Hamud as being committed. The question is, can they stall long enough? No, they can't. As, uh, as they, I mean, committing so much there and losing, that's the glimmer of hope you need if you're on CDTV right now. 
I mean, that, that Willie going for a really dangerous res yet again. Some question. He plays so well for the m most part. Then he goes for some really questionable plays that ends up in his team losing the point or something like that. It's like you want consistency out of your supports, and going for crazy res like that isn't gonna, isn't what your team needs, especially not at that moment. Yeah, absolutely. But Hacksaw again finding the headshot. On to Jayla, a good kill from him. Her warm also able to find Fanta as well as Power of Heroes Mech. He does get the power kill onto Blackbird as well. Will he just go down as well? So this pain is going to continue on moving. It isn't over for them just yet. They can, they can still double three points here. But again, on Jumper Town, a map where three points is actually uh, is very common. Um, to, uh, to be fair, I mean. Uh, I, I still like Octetech's odds here, but as I say, that Warm is going to be able to take him down nicely. Axel, though, is going to be falling. Willie, though, going down as well, so no reds up for... Oh, Power Pure, that's a huge kill. He finds two. The bomb is going to be used from Tarnis. Unable to get anything. Jelly still has his. But Tarnis is able to win that 1v1. Meaning Jelly is unable to use just yet. Power Pure is going to go down as well, and this payload is going to carry him moving. The thing is, they haven't got six people here. I mean, you to find someone. have all that many ults either. They soon to come up on both of the tank wolves, but I really going down it. early is just devastating to the side of uh, Marshall Warriors. I think Tarnis has been a massive change here for CDTV here right, right now. And um, Haxor well. as well. I mean, that's the third one in the roll. The third ultimate of Haxor is to get, to get, to get cancelled. So, uh, I mean, right now, um, this still looks like three points coming up for, uh, for Cartel. Uh, it's a tough boy, which is good for them. Nice to find to make that three, and the payload is going to be hitting its final destination. And they are back with a bite. It isn't over for them just yet. And although they do cap it, it is an overtime, so you have to hope that. Or sorry, Ashok Warriors have to hope that they can finish it with plenty over a minute so they can get as much time as they can here. They want to get this they want to get this map out of the way because they did not do well in it earlier i think right now um they've got to. they really have to uh they really have to they really have to take this opportunity to win this map but if they lose this map then it's oshtek's pick and then it's it's as good as done like like, like actually i mean they really have to they have to realize that okay we grabbed the points here we really need to hold here we can't get snowballed by like a bastion strat coming out from them or a check or something that's exactly what they're going to be running uh, the solo support with the uh with the bastion um of power of hero um but the defense they look to be maybe blackbeard swaps almost. over to the rissa and hamoud is the one who's flexing onto the widow and it's very interesting of course hamoud probably the better widow of the two but swapping your main tank over and over again to, or swapping your main tank and off support roles over and over again can be, Attack it can get confusing at times. You might be seconds. in the moment thinking like an off support as a main tank. You don't want to be going into into your own yeah. backline when you're playing Orisa. I mean, absolutely. Um, right now, I mean, this really is going to be uh, a test of uh, do or die for uh, for CDTB here. If they crumble under the pressure here of holding. Um, and they and they lose this map. It's it's not looking good for them. They really have to win this map here. It's such an important map win, um, as it being their pick uh, to do. So they've got to deal with this Bastion strat that's coming out from Oshtek Warriors. Uh, Hamoud's going to be looking to hit these headshots onto the defensive bar of Warm. they doing well to back away, and Hamoud winning the one v one against Haxor. The Res, uh, I mean, obviously they're not going to be able to, unable to achieve it, but Blackbeard and Power of Hero. Uh, both go down. Blackbeard going to be rest and Hamoud able to take down Warm as well. Hamoud the one with the kills on this Widowmaker. Blackbeard able to find Ali G as well and it looks like this player will continue moving. Ace is still alive though. He's still up. They've got to take him out. Can they do it? And in that able fight, to take down Hamoud as well. In that fight we saw a great reason why Triple DPS is better, yeah, is better and worse at the same time than Triple Tank in this situation. As there was nobody to cover the res, so so uh, Willie had to let his bash die on the cart, yet just massive amounts of damage left him win the fight overall. Offshore Warriors do lose the second fight though. 
and this is probably where it's going to get start turning around a little bit. It's a great point for a hold if you're headed to a defensive widow right here at this bend. We're gonna have to. I mean, I, I'm expecting CDTB to hold for a good while on this fire. I think it's a very good place to hold, obviously, because of the space, as they say, on the Widowmaker. Uh, a lot of times you see, I mean, just let us example, Haxor able to find the kill onto Pankta. Uh, Hamoud also going to go down. Will he just find the res onto his far? But again, I can't see this by turning minus. Tani finds another kill onto Willy. I mean, Tani's coming in here and doing stuff like he's doing like that it really is making a difference. I mean, they picked the map where solo support works very well. Um, and. Uh, and they've gone for it, and it, it seems to be working in their team's favour. And um, as they are holding here, they've held two minutes, they have to hold two more. But, um, but right now, it's a good start from them. And walls up means Fink that oh, can flank, but yeah. I guess okay, flank do doesn't work out. Haxor does get two kills though, and I will ignore my pun completely. Yeah, can you not? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was very questionable to say the least, but uh, Axel able to find Three this fight as he takes down Blackbeard as well as the winner maker and far on the uh, the offense. The Power Hero now uh, coming in a little bit, getting Ali G down. Power Hero a good three, and this fellow is going to continue rolling back. Uh, Goalie though going down, and all of a sudden Oshtek look like they're going to take this fight. Blackbeard finds one. Uh, Fanta now using the barrage over the team up on eight there. That seemed like overkill, honestly. The the uh, Roadhog and Whole Hog. He can't actually heal, there's no real need to, to blow it all on him. But what, what happened happened, I guess, and going into this next fight, the offense will have several ults over now. Right now, Warm able to win the foul 1v1 there. j -Led, though, making things even as both fouls are out of the fight. Willie really able to get the res, whilst the mercy of the defense cannot get that far out. Obviously, otherwise they're gonna die. It's not worth going for it. Hat's all gonna be falling to j -Led again. j -Led, I think, kind of an unsung hero. Yeah. He just, he's been getting some of these team one clips that like, they don't expect, like, from, from a lot of places. Like, he's consistent as well. Like, power up hero as well, popping off, fighting to. Uh, I mean, when the payload is over halfway to the second point, when you're getting kills like this, that's exactly what you want to do on the side of Oshtag. And it looks like they... I mean, as I say, they might grab this second point. They lose two. Power Pyro loses the mech. Bank Tug does go down. So they are going to get an opportunity to touch here. Harmons is going to be contesting the point. ASF I will take down Power Pyro as well. If they hit that res, though, that's huge. Man, the body block on this Dumo. The mood didn't want him to get out of that corner. He does have the prime one here in a small room with plenty of squish. This is dangerous. And while they're looking at Hamoud, they're not looking at Fankta, who lands a two-man barrage, gets a third on LEG, and a great play for us the Warriors. I mean, a good barrage from Fankta, or some good distraction from Hamoud, but it goes without saying there. Uh, I mean, so you can take positive from that fight if you're on CDTD. I mean, Power of Hero, uh, I mean, obviously you can't, but like, like, in terms of like, if you look back at what teams have done well, like, what they did well there, was uh, as the rares came in from Willy, they managed to get power period before he went there. They, they, they all realized, okay, he's been better. We need to take him out. The importance taken down is, is that it's quite, uh, is that it's like it's, it's most importance. But they did that, but then they, they didn't really do with the ult and back to and him with uh, Warm now. His turn to barrage now as he finds through. Um, Pani's able to get the cleanup onto Willy. Hamid also going to be uh, going to be going down. And this point is going to be taken to a standstill. Bank to just find one, but. Um, but yeah, no, the, the point is going to stop moving and, uh, and seems to be going to uh, be holding here. And Hatcher's on the Sombra now and taking up Aza's role. That's really isn't close to the MP, so I can't really combo with the view bomb just yet. But the hacks can come off, but it doesn't really matter as Power right Hero gets two to begin the fight. Oh, Tardis, big bomb! So I mean, Tani's really making a difference here. Like. Like, like, just literally, that's what they're missing. Tarni's finding a third there, taking out Blackbeard, Willie also going down. And after they lose two straight away in that fight, that bomb from Tarni's makes things exactly even again. And they're able to capitalize on it and use their position from what was a bad thing, being up aggressive down to being aggressive even, which, I mean, they, 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 they did the right thing. They went in, they got the kills they needed to to win the fight and rough it out. Right now, 
I, there isn't all that many ults on the defending side. Plenty on that the attack side. Like, I don't know if they win this. Especially after that rank. Oh going my. In. Find me too. Uh, Fanta able to find the pharmacy of the defense. ASAP also going to be using the mech. He will go down to JLED. Goldie will go down in that time here. Yeah, he feels. And it's, kind of, it's dangerous now if you're on the uh, defense. I mean, you have EMP though. I mean, you have um, you have EMP bomb. You have uh, you have close to pocking, you're close to barrage. I mean, they need to get a good, uh, good EMP off here. If they're unable to do that, they're going to lose. But like. The EV bomb Haxor is so decisive here, but Tani's again with a great pick on to emerge. The res is going to be coming in from Willy though. Diva bomb is going to be used from both teams actually. Power Pyro able to take down Andy G. Willy also dying. Both misses is going down to both bombs. The barrel has been used from Warm, but unable to. Uh, from Factor, sorry, but unable to find anything. Warm almost going to be taking down, him down, but he's going to use his own barrel finding two. Haxor takes down Factor, Hermud also going down. And the point is going to be stopped with 60 seconds to go. And a lot of resources committed by uh, by Oshtek here. And uh, right now seems to be on the verge of getting this map. Well, no no ults up here it's on the side of oh, CDTV on, on the other hand. Two ults are up for the side of Oshtek Warriors. Realistically, this should be a one fight for Oshtek, but Aza taking down Power of Hero on his own is exactly what you need. I mean, 30 seconds left. And uh, I mean, they need to. They need to get. The, the, the thing is, they died to beat. The people died that quickly. I mean, Hermod's gonna have to get in there with a uh, with a primal, and uh, Jaylid's gonna have to touch on the chaser. But I mean, Jaylid will get in there, get hacked, and he'll go down. Hermod will get hacked on the primal, so he can just be dropped. So I mean, right now, Oshtek really have to come up with something here, and they've got to touch. Obviously, they are gonna be able to do so. Four seconds to go, but something will have to get on the point. It's gonna be Hermod, but. Right now, near the team with the kills they need. Warm is one, but he's unable to get taken out by uh, by Ustek. He's able to find a kill on Blackbeard as well. The bomb from ASF is probably going to set the tears. Both of the supports go down for Ustek. Banter also going to be falling, and this is exactly what you want if you're on CDTV. They're on the verge of winning this map of the series. It's nothing but them in the left side. The kill points. ASF takes down JLED. Nobody's going to be touching the point. Blackbeard not unable to make it, and two one now. See this we bring one map back. And uh, and this is definitely not over anytime soon, ladies and gentlemen. Play of the game. Haxel will play the game. We see Haxel the things coming from him. Incredibly well this game along with Tarnies. Pulling off a ton of kills. Oh no. Will he? <laughs> Willy goes for some risky reses without being sure that he's fine. As, long, as well as his Valkyries are poorly timed, I'm. It, it's, some communication has to happen between Willy and his off tank player before he goes for plays like this. Absolutely, but uh, we are going to be going to a uh, to a guide on how to become a free agent. If you're watching this uh, league and uh, and you want to take part you want to be okay i want to be on a team uh, that's a perfect way uh, to describe to you how you can do so so we'll be with you uh, again with our fourth map of the series in just a second out there want the latest updates news and reviews at gaming cypher we write articles about all the hottest games share stories from the biggest events of the year work with an amazing staff yeah and even create our own content bam okay wow we know how big the gaming world is out there so when it comes to staying informed we've got your back gaming cypher the leading in
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We have our uh, our fourth map of the series. Um, it is going to be. Um, I mean, right now, CDSB be doing all they can to really bring it back. Uh, they've done. Uh, They've done, they've done what they needed to do on Junker Town, but now it is the pick of Austrian Warriors. And I mean, it's Oasis, one of far strongest maps. But anyways, how do you find, how do you see this map going, Angus? Honestly, I'm, I'm seeing Austrian Warriors taking this one. They have extremely strong fair play. They showed that they played pretty well on this map earlier, even though they did lose. They, it was a pretty decent map for them. You gotta, you gotta hope that uh, they can take this map because if they can't take this map, it might be another not complete reverse sweep, but another uh, upset coming in. I mean, right now, um, it could it could go either way. I mean, warm against Bankter, that is literally the uh, definition of, uh, of of the of the series. So obviously, the better one out of them two just tend to uh, do tend to win the fight. As well, Tarn is against Jaylen now. Um, I have someone in Sombra, uh, which is interesting. They're running the solo support of Pot, which is um, which is interesting. J Led able to get to get taken out actually. Uh, I said able to take out J Led early. Uh, her mod is going to be going down as well. Tony and Hacks will work together to take down Power of Hero, and this is exactly what you want if you're on CD to do. Taking this first fight so convincingly, and there it is. Carnies, as you said in the previous map, is having is having some great games so far. Going absolutely in, getting plenty of kills to fight, and actually still almost at the rocket barrage. This could be dangerous. Is I'm not sure Ultra Warriors would expect them to have it this early. Good hack though, coming in from a hacksaw onto. Uh, on to uh, on to Fanta. and I mean that's exactly what you wanted on CD to be at so as well on the Sombra taking down Jaylen Hamid also going to be going down Willie Pools as well Tiny C will go down but right now uh, it's all uh, CD do as they uh, again show a very convincing performance uh, on this map of Oasis here and as Diva just said Self-destruct is ready. Six ults almost ready on the CPB. Tarn is the only person that had it. That. It's a little oh, lower back on the ult charge, but again, it is Tracer builds ult very quickly. Gonna have to see what CPB can do with these five ults that they have. BMP is gonna be used. Uh, it's nobody able to get too many people actually. Willy it does get, and he gets. I mean, he gets well protected from the beta Blackbeard. Uh, although he is gonna go down nonetheless. Hacks are able to finish him off. A good start from CDTV, but Fanta wins that 1v1. Haxel though, popping off, finds, um, finds Blackbeard as well. Fanta though, making another kill onto Ali G, but A said, I mean, it's it's red kill on blue team, blue kill on red team, red kill on blue team. It's like that, this fight, really. Um, but right now, uh, I mean, they're just edging it. Um, the, uh, the side of cards are the tough boys. How here, does find Acer, but Tiny's able to take Power of Hero out. I mean, the hack is going to be used onto Blackbeard. Meaning that he can't self heal. He's able to get the health pack though, but Willy goes down. J led back on the point. But again, Hacksaw though is going to fall, but the, uh, the barrage is going to be used from Warm. I know just get anything. But right now, I mean, CDTB, if you're on CDTB, you're not getting the kills you need to be getting this quickly. When you're that far up in the fight, and they lose their mercy as well. They lose their only, only way of support. So, only kills are being traded back for on the side of CDT. The Asha Warriors will manage to edge out the win, but it's not, it won't be easy. But if you get plenty of bolts to try and get it, this is, this is the best oh, Why are you that's committing? That's no way, no, that's oh, huge. They're getting back as well. They're gonna, they're, yeah, you've got people coming back as well, so right now this fight isn't decided. Hacksaw goes down, that's gonna be good though. Power Fury they need to get before he gets back in the mech now. It's gonna be. All for nothing by the looks of things. As Power Fury just get back in that mech. I don't really know why they go for that, but Jay led over to take down Ali G. And the fact is, they've still got people. Um, no, they, they, I thought they could have could have staggered people there. And they, yeah, no, they're going to be able to stagger Warm. Um, but thanks to that contest, a lot of ult charges gained on the side of of uh, Warriors. It will build up their ults much faster than they would have. They just hadn't let that fight go without committing the Diva Bomb, without committing the extra engage. I mean, right now, though, uh, in terms of both teams, you have ultimates to use. It's just, I mean, 
How they use the, these ultimates is going to make a big difference. Like this, this, uh, this fight. The uh, is going to be used. Power Fury is going to be targeted. He's going to lose his mech. He'll probably go down. And three kills come in for CD to be very, very good gameplay from them. And this is going to be J Led. They need to hack. They need to get him. Yep, there it is. And is anyone going to be able to touch? I don't think so. And that is going to be one that I want Oasis for CDTB. They've got, they're, they're, they're on the verge of bringing this back. And you've got to be worried if you're Ship Warriors. This is a great fair map. They should be winning this because Fengta, for the most part, has been superior fair in, in this match. And Power of the Hero gets, or Power of Hero gets another four man of the Diva Bomb. But, the, Oshak Warriors seem to be hit or miss on maps. They either play extremely well or they play rather poorly, and this isn't what something you want from a team, especially not at this level. You want consistency. You want to know that you can get kills like consistently. You want to know that you can ult track. You can com you can uh, not commit. You can coordinate your ults, and that's just not what they're doing. The thing is, look at the interesting switches now. Now Tarnes is on the Sombra. And Hax is on the hog. I'm not really sure why they make that switch. But, I mean, that's exactly what they're going to be doing. Um, Frank's are able to get the first kill off at the fight onto Goldie. Tarni though makes things even by taking down J-Led. Blackbeard though taking down Warm. So right now, Oshtek looking to get back in this. Frank takes down Tarni's Ace does take him down, but Ali G goes as well. And right now, nobody's on the point. I think it goes down early, but he has a barrage. <laughs> That's one of the fastest barrages you, you're gonna see, especially because they're running triple tank on the side of CDTV. You're gonna see him oh, go combo. That was a nice combo onto uh, onto Blackbeard, a cool port combo, taking him out of the fight. J Led uh, does find Acer, but Goldie able to take down Hamod, and this is what you want to do on CDTV right now. But as I say, that warm is gonna go down. Fanta gonna be stopped from using the barrage, but the kills coming in for Oshtek. And they look to be winning this fight here. And our power of hero is going absolutely in that fight. He's been playing so well. Even when his team doesn't poorly, he has his plays. He eats his dragons. He he's just been uh, an incredibly strong player. My little friend, would be so hard. Yeah, I, I I would have to agree. To be honest, power pair really standing out. Just eating. He's eating so much. Like. As a dude, you expect it, yeah, I don't know, maybe one or two, one or two things, uh, a map or a series, but he's, he's legit eating everything. He, I mean, if, you, if you've got that as a diva, that's so, so good. I mean, you've got a Sombra to deal with as well, so, I mean, he's doing very well for himself here, but, I mean, nonetheless, CDTV are going to be winning this fight here. Um, I mean, if you're talking about CDTV, I think Tarnis has really changed the game here. I mean, in terms of most valued player for CDTV, uh, it's going to him right now. Um, yeah, I mean, just think of it, for example, Nice Guy Rosen's been in for the first two maps, they've lost, now Tarnis comes in and they're, and they're popping off, and I mean, Ali G doing very well solo supporting as well, don't take anything away from him or the rest of his team, um, but uh, seems to be also, uh, also have some, some, some most important players. Uh, right now, Fanta are able to get the first kill off the fight onto, um, onto Ace, I believe, there. Uh, Half Hero as well, taking down Goldie, so I think it's just a matter of time before this point goes back in the favor of Oshtek. The Diva is going to be used though, and that looks good! Oh, it goes in the tunnel! No, it goes in the, uh, goes in the, goes in the hole, and it looked like it was going to get a two-piece, and that probably would have given the fight to CDTV. But, um, yeah, no, the, uh, they're, they're unable to find anything with it. Jalen and Amod find Warm and Goldie, and this point looks like it's going to be going back in the favor of the team in the blue. Now on the defense, we see that both the bombs coming out. That can be extremely impactful. Great boop. Oh, never mind. He still gets killed by Power of Hero instead of Fink there. But as I said, we see the false bomb, we see the D bomb. Both can be very impactful if used correctly. You want to see the pulse bomb stuck on the Mercy if possible, but otherwise sticking it to the tank and burning them off that is a good way to play the game as well. Big and bomb, that's hero. huge. <laughs> it's a great, great kill onto IDG there. Power here just overall is been such a strong player for this team. Hacks are dumb for you, 
Mm, Hacksaw, yeah, as you say, uh, does take down power up here. Goldie as well in the primal rage just by that bit. But J Led comes in with two kills of his own. The unsung hero of uh, of Oshtek Warriors finds two. Um, kind of how I see him as uh, uh, Ali G able to get the res onto ASAP. Tani's finds Willy. So this point looks to be going for CDCB again. I mean, all they've got to do now is hold it, and uh, and it's 2 2 in the series. They do have plenty of ults to hold it with. They have the Demon Bomb, they have the Barrage. Barrage, of course, great on this point. You, they have to go into one of two doorways. You can just hover above it and rain down rockets I'm like nobody else. Although, coming in here, it doesn't seem like that's the play that they're going for on the side of CDTV. Sumo going for a dip for a sneaky play. And Allie going down first is extremely dangerous. Oh, we can peek on maybe? No, uh, Banksy does find two. He pops, uh, I mean, he doesn't use a barrage. Warm doesn't, he gets nothing off it. He falls. Hacksaw does find Willy. But right now, Oshtek looking to uh, to grab the point back in. Is anyone going to be able to touch? Ali G may, yeah. Ali G able to get on the point, but he falls. Melbourne's going to be able to touch now, surely. No, nope, they, they are still going to be contesting. No, but that is it, hopefully. Nope. Still no, no, they're still coming in from Hacksaw. They're just going to make it awkward, awkward for us as Cass is up there. Now Hacksaw is going to be going down, and that is going to be a third section upon us for this map of Oasis. Is it going to be Oshtek bringing up a 3-1 in this series, or is it going to be a 2-2 in the favour of I mean, both teams, right? Really? Well, we will be on Control Center, which, again, is another strong fair map. All of Oasis' maps are strong fair maps. In Control case you Center now? City center. Oh, city center, man. Oh, nah, we're not at least Yeah. Yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you were saying. But of course, like a strong. All of these maps are strong fair maps. We do we finally see hit skin coming out from the side of Oshtep Warriors? Is Hamoud going to stick with the McCree? No, no, surely not. No, because nah, they're going go with the same thing they've run for about four maps. <laughs> Because EU doesn't it's, run uh, hitscan? Nah! <laughs> nah, nah, some do, some do. But uh, yeah, Faro is definitely, um, definitely a, a more prevalent hero in the EU meta, uh, really. Um, but yeah, we're on this first section of Oasis. It seems to be neck and neck right now. I mean, if Oshtick go and win this, that's, I mean, that, that, could be a, that could be a decider, really. When maps are this close, people like CD, teams like CDTD from being behind really have to take advantage of it. But right now, no kills coming in for either team just yet. And Warm able to get the opener onto Blackbeard, that's exactly what you want, bro. Power Hero finds a kill onto AG, that's the chance to take down Warm as he hasn't got that pocket with him. The Power of Hero able to get the mech of ASAP as well before he goes down. JD able to find Goldie, but he falls as well. And now just to move on the point, but no, it's going to be going in the favor of CDTV. And Sewer went down extremely well that fight, didn't actually end up going down. A quick engage here could be absolutely devastating to CDTV. Unfortunately though, they, for the side of Oshtek Warriors, they do manage to regroup themselves. And Bank that gets hacked again, being absolutely focused on in this fight. I mean, Blackbeard though, being the first to go down. Hamoud does go down to the same culprit of Tardy with this bomb. I mean, he's making so much difference right now. The only player out of all 12 on fire, you see it. Hapsaw though, finding two as well, he make that for this, he's on fire as well now. But um, but yeah, no, the, uh, the fight definitely going in the favor of CDCB again quite confidently. The mood might go down here as well. Yeah, he's going to be falling. A good stagger kill for CDTB. Uh Hapsaw's going to be looking to hack um, something here. Look how far back he is. He does have the EMP as well. Might be waiting for a sound barrier, but if he is, he... The sound barrier isn't even close. It's gonna be honestly just wasted time if he doesn't go for the EMP this fight. Does get these one to catch the car in it? The devil's gonna be used for uh, That's not what you want. Everyone else check there. The devil will not. We're gonna be finding anything in 5k for CDCB collectively. 75% on the point. They still have the barrage, they still have the post bomb, they still have the primal, they still have the diva bomb. They have four ultimates going into this final fight. I mean, if they use them early and get the frags, that's exactly what you want. But, I mean, they're going to be waiting, they're going to be patient. They're going to be waiting uh, for them to get on the point together, I believe. 
So right now, neither team are going to be getting any kills up things up here. Hamid diving in. I mean, he is vulnerable there, but he has the final, so he's not going to be dying anytime soon. Yeah, he's going to be using that up. Um, Power of Hero is going to be close to losing the mech. They're focusing down quite nicely, but it's going to be a bit too late. It's Power of Hero, Fanta, and Jaden all find one. Fanta and Power of Hero, though. Do go down. I mean, Power Fear only needs the neck, but Blackbeard goes down, but it's kind of an easy fight. As Tarnis hits the stick no. and carries his team on his back, ladies and gentlemen. He finds two more. And oh my gosh, that is exactly what you want from that pulse bomb. And CDTV bring it from 2 0 down to 2 2. Both teams two maps away from winning this series, it being a first of all. But Tarni, do you see it play of the game here? Really putting this team on his back here. I hope it is. Yeah, you see it here. Oh my. He does stick Willy. Willy flies into his tracer. Oh, oh no, Willy. <laughs> Almost flies into Tarnies himself. Yeah, that would be funny if he died. <laughs> but no, uh, CDTB picking up the map win here. Thanks to the only card uh, for his team. But we are going to be going to a Wipe commercial. Wipe being one of our main sponsors. The winner, the, the winner out of these two teams. All six of them get a Wipe. Uh, and I mean, I, I mean, I want one to be fair. Uh, not gonna lie. Um, I struggle from the grease of my fucking. Oh, sorry. I, I, I struggle from my uh, from the grease of my food. Uh, uh, getting onto my remote. Um, but uh, yeah, we will be going to a white culture. We'll see you in just a second. Hello everybody, welcome back. I mean, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a bimble fun. Angels has to go for a short amount of time, so it's gonna be just me, uh, just me casting. Get a bimble thump in chat if you like angels, but um, I mean if you don't, that's what it is. But I mean I do personally, so uh it's just me though, casting um for uh for for this map. Uh maybe another one for the time being. Uh but yeah, it's gonna be Ilios section, it is going to be well. So uh again we will uh we will have to see whether, uh, I mean, it's even now, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, if you're just coming into the stream, uh, Oshtek taking the first two maps, but they've kind of had a reverse sweep of their own in a way. 
as uh, a CDTB are taking the next few right back, and it is 2-2. Two -two. The, moment, the momentum is in CDTB's favour. Tani's being an absolute animal. He's really made the difference in this final. Power of Hero doing all he can on this diva. He really has been successful as well. But, uh, but all the same, it's a new map. Ilios is the location. Well, sorry, is the, uh, is the section. Um, but yeah, we uh, will have to uh, wait and see whether Offset Warriors or CDTB take this uh, fifth map of the series. I mean, it's a best of seven, so it's first of four map wins, in case you don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now, neither team uh, have an opening flag just yet. Tiny does get low, but he's going to play safe. Recall, I think, or get a health pack. But ASF does lose some mech. They focus him down. I mean, both teams focusing the Beavers, but as I said, that factor is going to get double direct hit. Maybe he falls. And that's exactly what you want if you're on the side of CDTV right now. Warm, able to take down Blackbeard as well. Power of Hero is going to be, uh, is going to be going down as well as some mid. I think he's just full, but seems to be looking to, uh, to, uh, to win this fight. Really falls. j -Led might go down as well. No, Power of Heroes is going to be going down. Peoples. Tarnies just go down, but again, this this looks like a fight one for um for, for Oshtek. No, for CDTB, sorry. Oshtek are just speeding right now. But as I say that, Jled and Hamud able to both find a kill, and they're sorting the car nicely. It's, again, 4v3, and they don't get on the point, so it's... I didn't say car, they don't have car. Whatever. But, um, um... Yeah, they don't get on the point, and they, uh... And they just get taken out there, they... Yeah, that like, what the fight was there basically. They, they, it was just two left. It was just the diva of Power of Hero and the tracer of J Led on the point. But I mean, nonetheless, they, they were unable to win the fight. But Tarnie's again putting the team's back, finding two. Hacksaw fighting Banker to make it three against six. Now they need to get on this point and cap it as soon as possible here. They need to have that done. And that's um. But again, we will uh, we wait and see here. Power of Hero does lose the um. Just needs to make him die, uh, as well as that he pops the diva one, so not very good from him. Uh, Hamid also going down to Hacksaw Warm, able to take down Blackbeard. Really, is going to be going down to time, so it's just a matter of time, really, before um, before CDTB take this point after 45% coming in from the team of the blue. Right now, the. Uh, the point is in the favour of the team in the red, CDTV, um, Warm and Factor both looking to win these far 1v1s, Warm hits the one direct, but no, Factor is a double direct as well, both of them not really hitting those double direction need. but right now the battle is being used from both teams, Beat, uh, Beat is being used from um, Oshtek, but again it's not going to matter as they lose both of their tank line, Factor does find Warm, as well as that Hamod, he's going to get picked up, so that was pretty good, as the fight is now even 5-5, five to five. And as well as that Goldie is going to go down, but a bomb from Ch from Tarnis does mean that Hamud is low. But a bomb, oh, again, a bomb from Jayled, not going to be finding anything. He does find ASF low. Ali G is going to be going down as well. The point going back in the favour of Oshkick Waters. After, again, 45%. These teams look mirror. Uh, they have kind, of, kind of mirroring each other in terms of, uh, in terms of percentage. Really. They're exactly the same percentage as they take the point back. Banks are able to win the far 1v1 against Oshtek and um, I mean, as I say, he was going to make him wait a little bit longer to, to, to re-engage, but a good rest from Ali G, uh, who, to mention, he's doing so well in solo support, by the way. Um, to sort of support a whole team, including his own father, but I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very good for him to do so. But um, Tarnie's able to find the first kill of the fight onto him. As well as that, though, Jalen makes his even taking down Warm. The barrage is going to be some bank to as well, but I mean, he's going to die. Uh, to the uh, to killing himself in the, in the body of Goldie's prime ways, but he, he does fall as well. Uh, Blackbeard finds a second kill in the other tank of CDTB, and any time now, this is going to be... Are they going to be able to touch? I'm not sure. They might be able to do, to just squeeze in. Yeah, Warm's going to be able to get on the point. 95% on the point. No, they're on, yeah, they're on the point now. The possum is going to be used from uh, from Tarn. He's unable to find anything here. Jayleg does find... Warm as well, the bomb is going to be used from Power Hero, it looked good, unable to find anything though, but the kill's still coming in from Oshtek, nonetheless, as Fanta finds Ali G, Haxor did go down her murder, also finding a kill onto Tarnies, and Power Hero cleans up Goldie at the end there, and that is going to be the first section of well going in the favour of Oshtek Warriors.
Not to mention, guys, this is uh, Oshtek's pick. Um, the pick's going in the order of, of seeding, so it's it goes uh, as Carter Dark Boys with a higher seed. Um, it is uh, it is Carter to Dark Boys uh, first, and then alternating around. So it's Carter to Dark Boys. Um, Oshtek, Cartel, Oshtek, Cartel, Oshtek, as this being the fifth map, it is Cartel's map pick, and thus, uh, and thus Ilios is the map. Um, so right now, I mean, it, it could really go any way. Oshtek picking up the first section, but again, this one being very good for Sombra, with that health pack just by the side of the point, being so easily accessible. Right now... Neither team finding the kills they need, but Hagsil again going to be the first going down. Jaylid able to find the uh, the kill onto him. Warm also going down to power of hero, and that's I mean, with you on the side of Oshtek, that's what you want. Doing two up so early, and they're going to be grabbing the point. They're going to be getting some stagger kills here, I believe. Yeah, Tani's going to be falling there, and um, and yeah, the side uh, in um, in the red. And Carter the they're going to be backing up as a team, waiting uh, for chance to re-engage here as the first point is taken by, um, by Oshtek Warriors. Hamud almost getting hacked there. If he got hacked, he would be done, but he manages to get out nicely. Uh, Carter the Rappel's back in the fight here. And look how defensive uh, Oshtek Warriors are. They're holding really far back on the point. Power of Hero is going to get hacked, but he's going to get peeled for very nicely. Make sure he doesn't go down. Hacks are going to go down. Hamud and Goldie both going to be falling to both Divas. Diva taking out Winston, Diva taking out Winston. But, uh, but right now, Oshtek looking to maintain their position on the point. Banks are going to be taking out Warm. The balls from, from Tarnies is going to get power low, but it's just going to be feeding support charges. Both of them will now have their ultimates. Banks are with the staggers on. So Tarnies and Acer do mean that, uh, that Oshtek maintain the point here. They are they are really not far away from, uh, from going 3-2 um, up in this series. is going to be used from Power of Hero and if you find anything no no I think I think Power of Hero yeah I mean the point well I'll say it this over the point going back in the favour of Quartet and Huff Boys um they are going to be in this fight and uh, they get a sad kill on Spank Tan Hamoud but I mean are they going to be able to take down Willy as well maybe not quite but yeah as I was saying I think the thing is with Power of Hero yeah I don't think he's getting a lot of deep kills because he got I think he's it's rinsed them all out on Kings like uh the uh, the div one the five man uh, just you know I mean that kind of compensates uh, for it he's, he, he had he's had all of his diva kills there so he can't add any more there but no, I'm joking obviously has been getting some kills with his diva bombs uh, Fank does just take down warm but again cartel the tough boys find the frags onto Willy um, power and to move and if you just go down but it's not going to matter as tiny takes down factor and this point is maintained in the favour of cartel the tough boys. Right now, power being focused very nicely. They hack him good and take him out of the net. The thing is, can they finish him off? Yes, they can. Goldie using the primal wave to take him out, but Hamid with a primal wave of his own takes down Asef. Again, mirror for mirror right now as Asef goes down as well as power. Tiny so separating the fight into his team's favor. But again, Jay led the tracer of the opposite team makes it even, but Hamid finds Ali G. Tarnis takes down Willy. Jay led though with a kill onto Tarnis despite looking close between his teams right now. But reinforcements coming in for both teams. Teams. But again, I think that the side of Oztech are going to be taking this. Uh, why are you using bomb there? That is um, that's a very questionable usage. But uh, I mean, especially when you're 70 on it EMP. But again, um, Oztech are going to be getting the point. And 85 now, so this fight kind of will decide it. With 85 compared to 89, there's going to be one fight left, really. Um, Either it's a very long fight or a very short fight, we don't know, but um, it will be a fight nonetheless. Uh, I mean, right now, you're really looking to get these opening kills. Nobody from either team dying just yet. Both teams playing very, very well and making sure not to get taken down. But Goldie able to take down her mood. Bank to also go down to Warm. That's huge. Hacksaw taking down Willy. The EP is going to be used to ensure that they get the cleanup. Thing is, 
I mean, I'd say if it was slightly lower percentage, the fact that they kill people so quickly is a disadvantage, but are they going to be able to get back? Hamoud 91% but not... doesn't have it. Is Hamoud going to be able to get on the point? I don't think he is. And that is going to be 1-1. One, one. Carter, the top boys, bring things back. It is 1-1 one, one on this map of Ilios. We are going to be going to Lighthouse. We all know it's very good for Sombra as well. And we're just going right down to the wire right now. Lighthouse is a section, and I'm surprised I'm not seeing goats from the team here. Like, it is, I think it can be quite good on the lighthouse, but again, nonetheless, both teams going for what they feel most comfortable with and what they feel they can do the most with. Uh, obviously, both teams don't really have a reason to switch as both of them number one. I mean, uh, Ushtek have Ushtek have really been running the same thing for the whole day, but um, but uh, yeah, the Carter Apple's winning that section, and that's it. I mean, that. But, I mean, that's exactly why they're, they're going to switch. Hypsaw, again, doing very well on the Sombra. Tarnis is well carrying kind of on the Tracer, so... I mean, both uh, of these teams... Um, no reason to swap, but I mean, as I say that... Uh, a very convincing fight win for... Um, for CDTV. We might see maybe one or two switches coming in. For... Uh, for... Um, for... Oshtek here, maybe? I mean, we probably won't, because they literally, literally haven't switched off this comp all day, but... Except when they were trying to run Bastion on cart, which didn't work most of the time for them. Um, and obviously you can't run Bastion on cart because there is no cart and it's King of the Hill. Um, but, um, but right now, CDTV with a good advantage starting things off here. Ali G is going to get low, but he is going to get go. He's going to go down to the direct hit Fanta. That has all makes things even, but still no support for... Um... Again, they're going to win the fight anyway. No support for... Uh, no healing for... Um... CDTV, but they look to be really speed, really speed well in this fight, but they got to get on the point. Neither team of one finding anything, I guess both of them trying to really get back in the net. That was the aim. Tani's trading nicely before he goes down the flanks as barge. Again, it's kill for kill right now, but Jalen might be the one making the difference here. But Ali G finds the res and is able to stay alive by using this Valkyrie. And then he's point maintaining, and if and if uh, Carter and Zuffles win the fight, and they, they look to be doing that. And they've still got so many ultimates to use. I mean, I don't think that it was worth using that many ultimates, but I mean, if they kept it for the fights to come, they could have uh, they could have held all the way to 99 and, and just not lost the point and won, and won the map. But they're still going to be using Pulse Bomb. They're going to use the Valge. I mean, both of those you can get back so quickly, so that's not that bad a thing anyway. Um, but yeah, in terms of Oshtek, you have the beat, you have the Valkyrie, you have the sustain to get on that point and rough it out. And with 85% to go, 85% taken from, uh, from CDTV, that's exactly what you're going to be needing. And um, Fanta really has to find that the frags here. Uh, the EMP though are going to be used and they find three. The EMP not going to be running anything from Hacksaw. Three kills in for Oshtek Warriors. And that is going to be the fight one for Oshtek. And um, Hamid with a double kill on Titans and Goldie. Uh, Ash has the final one to die. Um, I mean, as I say, Oshtek grabbed the point, but they need to maintain 90% plus overtime without losing the fight, basically. Uh, but let's see how far they can go uh, on that uh, on that objective. Um, points starting to be gathered back for, um, for CGTB. I mean, that's going to help them. As they, they stay on that point right now, they, uh, it's not going to be long till they, till they get it back. But yeah, they're going to be... Just grabbing that little bit more, as well as that Neva kill coming in for either team. But Power Pro able to take down Ali Just great opener from him. Really making a difference with that kill. Um, and that is going to be a fight one for, uh, for Oshtek. I mean, they didn't, they only used beat to win that fight. So now they've got the Pulse Bomb and the Diva Bomb. I mean, still, as I say that, there's five ultimates are going to be up for um, for CDTB. But again, if they choke this, it's, it's not really that just make the difference in a series like this. Right now, though, the point almost go back again the second time in a row that's going to happen. 
So Z1 was going to be former both of these teams. And again, the kills coming in for uh, for uh, for Carter. Of course, they find two, but Ata finds one with the bomb as well. Willy, he's going to go down. Banks are going to be falling as well. So Hacksaw and Seeds to be are going to be dominating here. Wait, what's the bomb about? Am I losing my mind? The Swarm saw bombs earlier, but I mean both they're both uh, both teams are going to be using their bombs there. Um, Ace up the one to find the kills. They grab the point back. I'm not sure if anyone's going to be able to touch. Jayled is down. He just find the kill onto Ali G. Is anyone else able to touch? No, he is going to. Oh, no, they are. And they are unable to get the res, however. Fangta is going to be going down to himself. I mean, he'd rather kill himself than have anyone else, you know, do, uh, do, do the deed. I mean, there's no shame in that. But, um, but yeah, CDTB are going to be winning this map, and they are one map away from securing the series and uh and proving that they are the number one seed for a reason blackbeard with play of the game it's probably a double boot or something oh yeah it's a kill onto a winston and a mercy <laughs> oh boy and that counts as environmental because it's a melee and he jumped off yeah good map for these teams i mean he's i mean c3 don't look like they're going to be stopped right now i mean it's very close but still they've had three maps in a row and they only need one more uh, to take the uh, to take the tournament and get their free wipes, get their free video games and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, we will be going to a uh, to a commercial uh, or guide or however you want to call it. But yeah, we will be back with you with our uh, let me think with our sixth map of the series in just a second. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with our uh, again with our with our next map. It's uh, and I mean it's been a long series. Uh, right now, three two in the favour of um, of Cartel at the top. We after going two 0 down. I remind you early in the series, but they made the switch. They bring bring Chani Tani's in. They run solo support since, and it's all be working in their favour. To be fair, um, they're doing really well without Wad as well uh, on the on the main support. Um, obviously he not here. I'm not really sure why. I'm not sure why they've just not picked him or whether they just uh, whether he can't make it. But again, he's not here nonetheless. And Ali G's come in, stepped in, and done a fantastic job on that support. And right now, I think it's kind of kind of gonna yeah. The death pool will come out. I mean, we're finally gonna be seeing a switch from Archdeck from that from that standard comp they've been running the whole time. Hopefully, we're gonna be running the Arisa Hog. Um, and uh, I mean, Parapiro loving this map. We know that after uh, after what happened in the last series, as he got a five-man bomb in the first section to kind of kind of uh, put, put, put a um, put an arrow to the knee of uh, of a score plan there. That's um, right now we have, uh, we have a new map, and we've seen it is Kings. And um, I mean, make a prediction in the chat if you want it. Who's going to win this? Uh, is it going to be Cartel to Top Boys making things, uh, I mean, done once and for all as um, they're winning the Series 4 2? Whether Oshtek will take it to a seventh map, uh, bringing it to 3 3. I mean, they're not going to be switching off their, of their trusted pharmacy dive comp they've been running uh, the whole time. Um, but uh, again, we'll have to see how it works well for them. I mean, if it works well and they win the map, who's complaining? But they haven't won in three maps. So they, I think they would have to change something, but look how far forward Blackbeard is there. Um, I mean, we're really going to be going down. Phantom and Jayled, though, are both going to be finding frags. 
going to warm and goldie. I mean, as I said, that Fangtio and Power Pair are both going to be going down. Fangtio just finding much post mortem and Jayleth just find Ali G. So right now, it's looking good for uh, for the offense today. Do you have that spawn advantage as well as that Ace if it's going to be falling? Right now, Blackbeard though going to be going down. Jayleth though really putting the team on his back here, but he falls now. And uh, um, oh no wait, uh, I just realised it's um, oh, I'm an idiot. It's uh, it's um. Cartel on the other side. Oh my, I'm, 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 I'm really am an idiot. But uh, Tani is able to find the kill onto Willy Backbeard. Also going down. Tani finds a second. Ali G um, is going to be going down as well. But ASF is going to be taking out Fanta. And that is going to mean that the point goes in the favour of uh, of Cartel, the tough boys. And um, but yeah, no, right now, a, definitely a, a good start from Cartel, the tough boys going into this. Warm. Uh, popping off from far, uh, Tani's again on fire on this tracer. He has been good since he's been coming in. He really has set the pace um, for uh, for the competition here. Is it, I mean, just him coming in is really tasty. So these two maps without him, they, he comes in, they win three. Like that, just I mean, the numbers just say for itself, don't they? Um, so I sometimes I wish we had statistics like uh, like that available to us, like OWL or something like that, so then you can talk about that sort of stuff, but we don't. So. Um, but anyway, we'll have to forget about that. Right now, Warm able to find two with the barrage, as well as that three more kills coming in for CDTB. And this payload is going to keep on moving. Power of Hero. Ah, uh, did he die? No, yeah, no, he died. But, um, no. Restart. Yeah, he's still behind him. No, uh, Warm has seen it though, I think. Yeah, um, right now, Power of Hero trying to escape here. He's got eyes on him though. Is he going to lose an egg? No, he's going to get bombed. He's going to throw in... No, he, I thought he was throwing the big one there, but no. Fangta is going to be the first second down. ASAP doing the good job to take him out of the fight. But Willy able to get the res onto Fangta with the help of the beat of Blackbeard. They've done that very well, getting those reses with the beats. But the big one going to be used from uh, from ASAP here. Not able to find anything. Hamud and Fangta able to find the frags before ASAP can get back in that mech. Fangta Fang be able to get another one onto uh, Warm uh, as Haxel goes down as well. And the spab uh, of I'm number one comes in for Power of Hero. I mean, you're not exactly wrong, but um, but yeah, who likes uh, someone who spams up all sides? <laughs> but right now, Fanta and uh, and we're looking to be able to uh, to use their ultimates here. I think. Um, Hatsaw doesn't have that EMP, so I mean, this fight looks quite good for the defense here, especially after Ali G, that only support goes down early, Fang able to get a second kill, he's not even going to need to use that barrage this fight. Are they able to find any more though? They're going to be pushing quite far from times, oh, looking for the Z9, Blackbeard notices it now. I mean, you won't see a Z9 like that, that hard in, um, in, in this, in this sort of, sort of, uh, sort of scene, when you've got six people looking, communicating, looking at the payload, etc. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's no reason not to try it really, especially the fact that you got out alive. And I mean, right now, if you're looking at the defense, you've got to be thinking to hold again, as you do have four ultimates alive. As well as that, Tardy's going down to the one-shot direct hit from Factor. But, but Hacks will just have that in peak, so he really can change that. Um, then, as I say, uh, CDTB really choosing to back up and wait um, before reinitiating. Uh, warm and Fanta having the spell right now. LG is going to get direct hit. He's going to make sure not to die. Haxel really has got to be looking to hit these EMPs. I mean, no, Fanta is going to be able to take down uh, some more as well as taking down the mech and the baby diva of ASF Jayla. Though just go down as well as Hamuta. This fight isn't quite done and dusted yet. Fanta though finds time to make the fight more uh, in the favour of um, of. Oshtek and again the prime away from Goldie. I'm not really sure if that was necessary. But still, they they're holding on to these ultimates. I mean, I mean, as I was say, it's not necessary. Just take down Power of Hero. That's a good pick to get. Um, and uh, Fanta is able to find Haxel though. So right now, this fight looking super close with these times. Times pop the bomb, and that is going to mean. Uh, I mean, Sutsu Mori though with his ultimate fight. So Fanta, Jayla, Blackbeard all going down. Jayla did take out Goldie, but he's going to get picked right back up. And any time now, and this is going to be a second point on the board for uh, for um, for Carter the Top Boys. 
and in that fight we did see Sumo two shot and Willy out of the Valkyrie. Great bear rockets coming in from him. I am back zigzag in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, and welcome back Angels. I mean that obviously I could tell was a quick one, but uh, right now Power Pure opening in with the kill onto ASF. Uh, with the D1, but again, he finds Goldie as well, but I mean, he's the only one getting kills for his team here. Well, he does Red Black here, but he's going to go down again. So right now, Cartel, the tough boys, are going to be uh, getting the second point as Hamud goes down. And I mean, if you've missed it, uh, the uh, the team of Cartel uh, bringing it to 3-2 uh, on um, on the map of Ilios, winning with a score of 2-1, very close. Uh, and Kingsrow now, they are on the attack. And they're going to be looking to wrap things up here with a score 42, but Oshtek can still bring things back with a 3-3 with a three three score. That's, uh, that's basically summing it up for you and the stream angels. Of course. Now, in this play, Fenka will have the barrage. Will he make use of it? Like, recently? I, well, I was going to say not so much, but I guess that baiting out the other barrage and getting two kills with it, that's great. I mean, Warms' barrages has barrages have been huge really. Like, he's been getting constant two or three, <laughs> two or three with most of his barrages. Hacksaw is going to go down to Jayleb. Dead is doing a very good job of, uh, of finding that fight there. Blackbeard now on the Vegeta. Just full time. He's able to get Hamilda as well. I mean, he really is making the difference right now. Um, That's another but, uh, questionable primal rage from Goldie. Seems to be. Like, miscommunication, I guess. I'm not really sure why he would have made it that there. Oh, that looks good. I just find Hacksaw Goldie also going to be going down. Factor, Factor takes down um, Warm, and the payload is going to be stopping for uh, for the time being in the favor of Washington. Now forty, um, now forty percent on uh, no for, no forty percent forty seconds left. Sorry on um, the point and. Uh, and right now it's now or never for uh, the cart at the top boys. They threw, throw the MP out and it's quite big, but again the follow-up isn't quite there except onto Power Periods. He did lose that mech. The mood also uh, gonna be um gonna be going down warm. Uh does um does get taken out by Frank though. Power Hero finding two. Blackfield is gonna take down ASEP and Goldie is going to go down to Fanta and the payload looking to stop uh here. So, uh, Hacksaw really is trying to contest as much as he can, but you know, that seems like it is going to be in terms of distance. And for King's Row, that really is an uncomfortable distance, to be honest. Um, I mean, you really have to uh, clutch out if you're on CDTV right now. Score. Zero to two. So, as you said, it's just around the second corner of King's Row. That's, it's not really where you want to be when it comes to defending a payload. It, as generally you win the first fight on third and that's where the payload ends up anyways. I'm gonna have to see some great play for CDMT or sorry. Why can't I think CDTB, thank you. I couldn't think of the name. I'm so sorry about that. But if they are to win this fight, it's not gonna be easy for them. Yeah, right now though, uh it isn't over just yet. I mean uh right now I mean, TDTB is a good attack, but it's not a great attack, you know. Like you, you still have a lot of work to do if you're going to uh, if you're going to hold here, and especially I mean, Oshtek grabbing two, uh, two, uh, two full full attacks against uh, Score Clan. It goes to show how good they are at attacking on this map. Um, I mean, the comp they run kind of helps them out of that. Uh, they're probably going to be running the same comp they've run the whole time, but um, but uh, yeah, right now. I mean, they, 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 they still, I mean, both teams have a lot of work to do here. I mean, it, it's games like this that kind of decide series. I mean, Carter did have boys with some good momentum, winning three maps in a row, but this is a good chance for Oshtek to stop that. And obviously, if they lose this map, Oshtek, uh, they um, they lose the series and lose the championship. But um, if they win the series, it goes to that final map, and them having the momentum, uh, even though they don't have the map pick uh, on that final map, uh, it can make the difference, but um, right now they are going to be on the attack and they're going pretty much the same thing except Blackbird is going to be on that Bagu. And of course, defensive pharmacy into the offensive Bagu. This is going to be difficult for Blackbird to pull off. Probably going to end up going to the Lucio at some point as he has been playing. 
Hunter, let's see a Zen go. Bank er, oh, that's a big really two. gets hacked out of the sky. Really needs to slow down. And they do have a uh, spawn advantage here on the offense, so they will technically all be back before before Hatchler comes back, but I mean he's on Sombra, he can get here quicker. Right now, power of hero. I would find two though uh, for this um, for this offense. They're going to be getting on this point here, um, and it's, I think it's just about time before they take the point. But hacks away, we take down Blackbeard. And Tarn is just still about. Banter goes down to him here. Banter one. Is it going to go down? No, not by looks things. And Tarnies just go down though. Hacks are going to fall. Ace are going to lose the mech. And that is those things that make the difference here. As if Banter did die there, Tarnies could have contested the point. They could have held, and Ace wouldn't have died. And, and it would have been different, but uh, I know uh, at times Thanks, unable to find the frag on to Frank to Frank to with some great movement to get in the sky uh, on that very low health. And I know, and again, I know it's taken out. And um, Axel going down on the Sombra yet again. And uh, I mean, this pad is going to start moving, and it's exactly the start you need if you're not tech. Well, going into this next fight, plenty of Wolfie Kuna for either side here. This is going to be a difficult fight for both teams to win. They have to play well, they have to make sure they can serve ults wherever they can because otherwise the next fights after it will be very difficult here. I mean, right now though, uh, the Pyro coming to a stance with Warm Finds who the Bowser is going to be used from him as well. Going to be cleaning things up. I mean, you don't see a lot of it in the kill feed there, but there was a lot of damage to clean up there. So I wouldn't say it's a waste, especially when... Um, Especially when, to be honest, I mean, if Fanta has barrage and you're playing far without a barrage, it's kind of, it's not too bad because you can just, you can just play far back, wait for Fanta to use and you clap him and, um, and get in. That's, I mean, it sounds easy, it's not as easy, obviously. The bomb is going to be used and the EMP is well and they do well to take that home mode and the mech of power of hero really also going to be falling. Warm winning that foul 1v1 and this payload is still, uh, is still stopping, I mean. Great defense all around. Um, so far, doing doing a good job of just serving all wherever they can. Of oh, course. the stick though! Oh. A massive stick. They're gonna be resing it surely though. Don't get rest? killed by it though. They're gonna res. As well as the IG is gonna go down. So I mean, Jaden really making that fight. Yeah, the mood was very close to him. Couldn't get the res off. Good LED and gonna have to see if they can recontest here on just before the point gaps for CT for a CDTV. That's Ooh, a great way to start to though. It. That's exactly the way you want. Especially bank to dine so far in that you can't res it and uh, if you're running pharmacy into not pharmacy, I mean you have got an advantage. Um to say the least, especially when Blackbeard is on that review. He's gonna get focused, he's gonna get stuck. No, Shield's gonna get stuck, he'll die nonetheless. The new one's going to use bomb power. He's able to get warm now. They need to stop a red from happening if they go for the red star. That's what they need to stop. Ali G is... No, yeah. Fanta able... I mean, he comes back. He finds two. Ali G goes down. Ace have falling as well. Fanta does go, but Axel able to go down as well. He's able. He's going to go down as well. And right now, it's 2v2 on the cart. It's a Monkey Diva versus a Tracer. Um, Monkey Diva. Again, reinforcements coming in for... Uh, the, the, uh, the offense, but as I say that, I mean, defense come in, Tiny Spines, Hamoud, as well as the Mecha Power, Goldie able to take down Power, and this payload is going to be held. And interesting Primal there, could have been needed, maybe not, it was a 2v2 situation, Goldie was about to go down, if he went down, that could have been a loss, but again, it's something that, it was, it was for safety, and I do approve how he used it. Right now though, it's a new fight, and it goes in onto Goldie. Goldie gonna get low. Is he gonna go down? Oh god, Fanta killing Warm and Ali G with one rocket at the same time. Warm just take down Fanta though. Vigella takes down Goldie. Fanta's gonna get rest and this payload in a matter of time will be here in the second checkpoint. Fanta with a great double double kill. Kind of like the really really uh, really put a handicap in um into C T V right there. And now coming into this to this last bend around the corner, CDTV don't have any space to do to play wrong here. They have to play perfect if they want to bring out the win right here. And they have the ult to do so for now. Just gotta hope they don't use all six at once. 
Oh, almost a big bomb. Not quite going to happen though, but right now, Barrett's going to be some warm. That's very impatient. I mean, you've got to be waiting for Power Piro to go out there. I mean, Power Piro, they're using the bomb. I know the fighting thing himself, Banks are going to use the barrel. You're not able to get anything, but right now, this is what you want to do on your offense. You're getting the fights. You've got the res onto your, onto your off support. So, right now, the healing isn't an issue either. But Willy does go down, and that's exactly what you want if you're Tarnies and his team there. He's still alive as well. The pop bomb is going to be used. I never find anything. Tarnies used the recall. There's a chance to get him. And right now, the kill's coming in for Oshtek. They are on the verge. I mean, as I say that, though, two kills coming in for, um, for Carter as well. As they take down Power of Heroes mech, and they, and they get two thugs with it as well. I mean, Axel is going to contest the car. He finds Hamoud as well. And um, it's too close to call right now, but Jayled kind of really helping his team out there as he takes down Hacksaw, the mech of ASF. Will he does fall again though? Right now, it's too close to call between these two teams. It's kind of just a really disorganized fight right now. But that is actually huge, that, that kill. No, that bomb is massive. No, it won't. And they managed to one, kill on the tower before he, get, before, before he can get back to the mech. Tarnis there, he finds two, Hacksaw finds one. Tarnis really making the difference there. Power Fear are almost getting like a 4k bomb, but they managed to get in that room just in time. And this payload is going to be stopped with 1 minute and 15 seconds to go. And right now, neither team having the ultimates. Like, I mean, in terms of, I mean, Oshtek, you're nowhere near your ultimates. You have, you're nowhere near, I mean, you have Bar you have Barrage coming up soon, but not this fight, maybe, in Pulse Bomb. But, Primal as well, but, I mean, oh no, that's the pick you need, so you're not Oshtek, though. Warm though with the barge! Finds two! Blackbeard gonna go down as well! ASF does take down Fanta! I mean, they commit though, two ultimates there. And if you're on Oshtek, you have Pulse Bomb, you have Barrage, you have Primal Raid to contest. But right now, 38 seconds left, it's gonna be one fight. A very long, staggered fight for Oshtek, I believe here. Jelly is gonna be the first again, he's gonna be looking to get that bomb off. Tarni's gonna be looking to take him out. The bomb is going to be used. It looks good. I'm not going to be finding anything as a good bubble comes in from Hermud. Two kills as well coming in from Oshtek, and that's exactly what you want. I mean, they've got to. I mean, right now, CDSB have to think of something. They have to contest the cart. That's what they've got to do. Are they going to be able to touch? No, they're not going to touch the point. And Oshtek Warriors bring it to a seventh map on King's Row. I mean, it's going to be CDTB with the pick. But, um, but again, the momentum going in the favour of Oshtek, they need to touch on the they need to touch the point. And they didn't do it. Great shot. Good it from one oh my <laughs> gosh! The shot! <laughs> That's an EU bar right there. Angles, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Not missing, but uh, yeah. Um, right now, we are going to be going to a, uh, to, to a commercial, but... Um, but again, we will see with our uh, where our seventh map. Do not go anywhere. It's the final map to decide who takes the championship home, who takes the wipe, who takes the games, and uh, we will be back with you in just a second.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We are on our final map in this best of seven series uh, to, to kind of end these playoffs. We have a pause coming in straight away, but uh, but yeah, I think it's 3-3 three, three in this series right now between Oshtek. Oshtek picking up the last map um, of King's Row um, and, uh, and CGTV uh, picking up the three previous maps before Oshtek took the first two of the series, but I mean... I got. Uh, I think two hours later, two two hours later, we are on our final map, and this is going to decide who is the best EU team for the time being. I mean, in this league anyway. I mean, we've got other EU teams like Power and such, which can which could probably give us a competition. But this uh, this will decide, at least to our knowledge, who the best team is. Um, but uh, yeah, we are on our final map. Angels, who have you got here? Honestly, <coughs> excuse me. CDTV have been playing really well, especially on the last map. And although they did lose it, I do think they can take this map. I've just thought, what happens if it draws? And that's it. Like, what? They're both the best <laughs> team. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. So, no, no, no. Uh, I think uh, I think what probably happens is we go to another map and it's off text, but if it goes to a draw, um, it, that decides it, obviously. Um, as the pick is rotated due to seed. So obviously as Carter the Tough Boys were the first seed. Uh, they get the first pick and it goes in, in it goes uh, like in repetition. So it's CDTB uh, picking the first map, then uh, then Oshtek, then CDTB, Oshtek, CDTB, Oshtek, now CDTB again in the seventh map. Um, obviously if they draw it will go to Oshtek's pick. Um, but right now, 3-3 three, three in this series, we have uh, we have the map of Foskaya. Carter, the tough boys are going to be attacking the first. first. Uh, the defense. Uh, no, they're not. No, they're not. I'm an idiot. No. Um, the cutters are switched. No, sorry. Carter, tough boys are going to be defending first. And uh, the attack is going to be coming in for um, for Oshtek. I mean, it's not really any surprise what Oshtek are going to be running. But, I mean, what do you think of this cop coming out once again from, uh, from Carter, the tough boys? I think it's a strong cop. I really do. They have the triple DPS threat. <laughs> Tarnas have been playing out of his mind. Hacks are, of course, on the sandwich, taking both health backs by the point. And although they are solo healing, LEDs are doing a great job of keeping up with the heals they need. Yeah, absolutely. I think Sombra as well. Haxel, is, it's a very good map for Sombra. We know that first point, especially against solo support. It's a very good map for solo support. Is you have a lot of kind of like pathways, especially with Mercy to fly around and stay alive and kind of make it hard for the dive of. Um, Oh, well. the fist, but Game Fanta with the direct takes away all the healing of uh, of the of the Mercy Valley G, and right now one one on the uh, on, in the fight back. Jled is able to find the kill onto Goldie, and I mean Power Up Hero is able to take down time, so this looks to be going in the favour of Oshtik Warriors. Fanta absolutely mugging off warm. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be. Uh, it's going to be the first point going in the favor of the attacking team. And they just going to get d mech here. Oh no, it does manage to get to the Mega just in time. If he gets d mech here, it's a death threat for this SCD. Uh, no, they're done. They can't, they're, they're going to get steamrolled on this second. This doesn't, this doesn't seem good for CDTV. Especially since Aza cornered himself. Why would he go into this That's little room? Though. The kill on Pajayla is huge. Um, but the Mez comes in from Willy and he managed to stay alive nicely. As he's close to that Valkyrie, he's going to be able to use that, and that's exactly what he's going to do. And they are close to grabbing that first tick, but Tiny Spines the good kill on Sparapira. Obviously, no res to keep him up there. Her mod does get low, so he's going to be killed right back up. But as I say that, the EMP comes in, Tiny's follows up on that. And uh, and again, Warm and Tiny's both finding the frags. Goldie does go down, but it doesn't look like a tick is going to be going in the, uh, in the offense's favor. A very good ult, a very good EMP, a very good bomb. From, um, and they've still got ults to hold. Uh, CDTV with a, with a good hold there, but they're still going to do it for six minutes. And four ults are up, right, or three ults, sorry, almost four ults are up for the side of, of Oshtep Warriors. They did commit two in the last fight, but theoretically with these four, with these four ults, they can win this fight. Especially if this is a big bomb, but no, it doesn't find anything. Yeah, unable to get anything. Um, and upsettingly for him at least, um, happily, happily for the others, but uh, right now Fanta is going to be getting the first kill of the fight, Warm is going to be losing that 1v1 again, Haxel also going to be falling to this is his start, you want if you want to stick right now, Fanta finding one with the barrage, finding two with the barrage, Warm is going to be using to get bubbled by Hermud there, that's going to be shut down, ASF will fall, 
and surely we see a tick or two coming in here. They are going to be able to touch. They are contesting before this first stick is taken. But Jaylev with the cleanup onto Warm, as well as that Haxel does go down. The first stick is taken. It's going to be the second tick any second now. The bomb from Jaylev takes down Goldie. Good one from him. Two ticks now. Asif on the point. He's going to lose back. Tani's now back in the fight. But he gets combo to his death. Now it's just Ali G uh, on the point. Warm. The bar, he finds one, but he's going to go down. And that is a very, very good start. The first move has been made in this game of chess. And it's going to be two points on the board for Oshtek Warriors. Five I minutes mean, left as well. That's such a great time bank for all Sky Industries. You, man, TCP is not an easy game mode. Especially when you end up with, with five minutes left. That's more than you get to begin your first attack. I mean, right now... I mean, if you're watching, like, thank you very much. I just want to say, I mean, we peaked at 197. And now we're at 220. Like, whoa. Like, I mean, if you're watching, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope that this is as entertaining for you as it can be, as well as kind of a meme, really. Uh, but uh, but thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, again, if, if you like what you're seeing, show up as and, and let's hope this community grows together. Thank you for, uh, for being a part of it, whether you're Plat, uh, Grandmaster, PC or console, or just don't play Overwatch at all and like watching. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in. But right now, we are on the second round of this uh, of this two CP. Is Carter's tough boys turn to attack? And they're, um, I mean, it's no surprise what they're going to run. They run the same thing since Tiny's has come in, as well as um, as well as uh, as well as the defense uh, running the exact same thing as well. Um, it's pretty pretty much been the same comp, but hey, at least it's not goats, right, Angels? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you know, when you go from NA to EU, you trade goats for pharmacy every game. So one way or another, you're going to get the same comp over and over again. We will have to see, though, how well they can run this Sombra on attack. Of course, as you said earlier, we'll start a good map for Sombra, but on an attack, it's a little bit more difficult to get into the engages you want. Yeah, I think right now... Uh, though, I mean, it's, you say they've got five minutes, but right now it's in over. We all know what can what can happen on 2CP. If cards to the point start popping off, they can take that point very quickly. Um, honestly, it can go either way, but again, again a very good start from Oshtek. And um, they've just got to hold for a while now, and they're, they're, they're just a uh, little yeah, added advantage. But as I say, that Willy is going to be going down. Hamud getting low as well as Fanta getting to one as well. Warm takes him out. Hamud also going to be falling there. Blackbeard is going to get low. He will fall in. It's nothing but Cartel Dirt Tough Boys in the left side of the kill feed. I mean, I will say that dramatically as possible, really. As they have made the move, they need to take this first point. And, uh, I mean, it could be a snowball the other way here. And the left side, of course, is the right side that you want to be on. And seven minutes coming into second. That's exactly what you want to see as an attacking team on 2CP. Tiny's and Hacks are going extremely deep on this flank, trying to find an opening, trying to get a pick so they can snowball the fight with that, and that's exactly how you get a snowball. See you later. And right now though, Tiny's going to be getting the first kill, that's exactly what you want. Uh, right now they need to find more though, and Banks are getting hacked! No sorry, Willy getting hacked is huge, but again Banks are, and Power Fairy working together to take down the Pharmacy as well as Azef's mech, and that is going to mean that they probably will be holding here. Azef does find her mood, but it's not going to matter, as, uh, as they're going to, I mean they've got a minute and a half left till uh, till it's even, but um, right now, OJ oh, with a good kill onto Hacksaw, and that point is going to be maintained with the side of Oshtek Warriors. Defending side, well, actually on both sides, we see plenty of ults coming up. The biggest ult on this fight, in this fight, is the EMP. If Hacksaw can land the EMP on multiple people, that denies them not only ability but the ult as well, and that can be game. The EMP is going to be used as well as what well. IG going down. Willie also going to be falling. So both teams are without their mercy. Hacksaw and Banked up, take down, uh, I mean, each far, so both teams about far as well, but Hamud finds the kill onto Axel and the Brigitte ult is used on the point. So, uh, so again, a good fight coming in from Oshtek, it's kind of making it tough for them to get on this point and uh, get the kills without dying. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're not afraid to, like, trade. Um, and, uh, I mean, that's the difference at the end of the day, like, with, uh, 
in my opinion, with, with CDTB, what they did on their defense, they weren't afraid to like go in and die in trade kills. Uh, whilst obviously if you're on the deep and that you just you, you kind of just play far back and you expect to die basically. Or do you play kind of more up and even if you do die, you get that kill. And that is st even if you trade one for one, that's a big advantage for the defense. Um, but right now, Parapiro is going to be losing that mech. Jayled again, though, with the opening kill onto Ali G. Parapiro does go down, but both for the farms, he goes down for the tracer of Jayled. And uh, and right now, Jayled again finding a third. He is popping off. And um, and there's going to be a regroup coming in. Parapiro pushing far up to get Haxel. Um, and uh, again, as this time ticks down, they're already at a disadvantage. CDTB, they've got to kind of cap it as soon as possible, really. And Haxor is playing very risky here. He's not going for the easy hacks. He's not letting his team set up to get a to get a free kill off the hack either. They're just going in, kind of disjointed. The only way they're gonna be they're gonna be able to cap this point is by going in coordinated, knowing what they're planning on doing. And with the hack under the mercy of Willie, you gotta get the three well boats. Oh, that's a big kill though. Fanta winning the fire battle with the barrage onto Samori. IG and Goldie also going to be falling does mean that, uh, yeah, this, this fight again being won for Osh Tech. And I uh, mean, yeah, of, of, of the fight, of the fight, like going in Osh Tech's favor here. I mean, you've got to be feeling worried for CDTB here. They've got to think of something or they're going to be losing this series. Goldie goes, oh, no one. He was going to go Reinhardt, decides not to, changes back to the Winston. And they're going to keep trying to run this. They at least change something. They keep running their heads into the ground and it's not working. You, I don't know, maybe throw in a second support, change one of your DPS to a different, a different DPS. Just something to help cha like, change up what you're doing is clearly what the dude is working so far. Oh, Although, that's actually huge. That's oh, big, they got four. Surely, surely this is the sign they need. I mean, one has gone down, but still, that's the only one they've lost is Taylor. This uh, point is going to be capped by Lippin in here. We'll grab two ticks. I mean, that's a start, definitely. Yeah, he's a fine to move. They need to take down the Wrecking Ball, though, as it spins on the point. I mean, they're going to be doing that, but now the Pharmacy is going to be coming back in. Willie, I mean, he's got a scout here now. He's going to be going down. So, yeah, this point looks maybe to be going in the favor of Carter Duff Boys, but again, with the Brigitte ult being used from Blackfield, nothing is set in stone yet. It's back to just find Goldie. I mean, you're going to want to trade in this situation. Goldie, they're being red right back up, though. But Ali G going down, that's big. As well as that, Acer could have been using the bomb though. He's not able to find anything tight. Just take down Blackbeard. Haxel just take down the mech of the mood. Really falls to Samori though. Goes down. And again, then it doesn't look like it's going to be happening for them. Is there four on the point for the defense now? Goldie though, finding J Led. But no, that is going to be probably the end of the fight as, uh, as Kills coming in onto Haxel and Acer and Tarnies. And now Goldie just left on his own. Final raging. He goes down. And yeah. Uh, and, I mean, they grab two ticks, but it's, it's not quite what they need to uh, to take it to a 2-2. Two -two. And Allergy wastes the old charge that they had on the Mercy. Just sought to lose you for a last minute contest that wasn't even worth it. I'm not... I don't agree with what, she, with what they did there. Tarnia's going over to Lucio now. Looks like they want to run a more Death Valley comp. Finally swapping something up. I mean, right now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like the switch. I like, I like this switch around Chipper Tank with Goats. That's what I, I with Sombra, sorry, um, with uh, with Sombra. Like, I, I called like two maps like back when they were too long. I called back. They should run this, um, and that's exactly what they're going to be doing. Back to getting using the barrage. The thing is, when you run far into Goats, you get your barrage super easily, but the ability to get it off is very, very bad. Like, you're never gonna, you're never gonna do it with Diva, Zarya, Sombra. If you run Sombra with it, um. It, it doesn't work, but uh, but right now nonetheless, Blackbeard doing very well on that Pugu. You see him on fire with one minute to go. I mean, it's either it's basically at this point when you need to regroup. Still, as Tarnis is down, you need to. It's basically a draw or loss. Like you you can't get this point before overtime. I, I doubt it unless unless you literally get a team kill with an ultimate or something. When you, which which of you have zero of, unless you have a. I mean, you have to you have to do one, but. 
still with 40 seconds to go the time is running out for Carter of the tough boys and again they have to come up with an idea they have to do something and Ali G going down where you lose your Moira when you're running ghost that is the worst thing that can happen and that is going to signal Oshtek to go in there and find the staggers but Hamud is going to lose the net Golden with a good kill there Golden's got to stay alive though he pins his directable ball out of the fight he's able to stay out I mean the are going down as well here why? I mean, what was that shatter? I mean, he's not going to find anything, but thanks to him, they're both going down here. I mean, Taylor though, finding Ali G again. Oh, is that a contact man? No, you kind of just wait for him to go back in, but the bomb is going to be used from, uh, from A7. Not going really to be finding anything again. The Graviton though, use it. He's able to get two. Where's the full up though? It's not there. Fanta finding one of the bars, Jayla finding Goldie, Fanta goes down, but right now, Ostic War is on the verge of winning this series. They find the kills, Hamud, Jayla, and Blackbeard all doing well for their team. The other time, Clock is ticking down, Haxel, the last one to contest. But ladies and gentlemen, Ali G, that is it. Ali G going down, and Osh Tech Warriors are going to be winning the European League playoffs. Osh Tech Warriors with a great display from coming 3-2 down. Winning the final two maps after a good start, but a shaky mid, mid phase in that series. Warm we'll play of the game. But I give you a round of applause to, uh, to both of these teams in these finals here. Warm we'll with, the, with the flicks onto, uh, onto Fanter again. But, uh, but yeah, right now. Well played yes. for both teams. But in the end, Ashok Warriors do take it, of course. I'm kind of sad yeah, I mean, to see fake that go to Doomfist. <laughs> but, <laughs> only there, but uh, I mean, I think I think both of these uh, both of these teams doing very well throughout. Tani's, I think, really my MVP uh, out of out of Cartel and Tough Boys. But in terms of like, uh, in terms of my um, in terms of in terms of the winning team, I think Power of Hero and J Led really showing off. As well as Fanta, but. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the end of the series, the end of the EU uh, EU playoffs. But feel free to tune into the American playoffs. Is it, I mean, is it look? I mean, is it is it the American playoffs now? Is that now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, feel free to watch that. Um, but I have been zigzag zigzag SC. It has been a pleasure. Angels, thank you for casting with me. Of course. Uh, can we just get some EU lol chat and uh, spam yeah. chat, please? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>